Alright, I want to... Oh shit, yeah, I saved in a new slot, didn't I? I remember now. Because <laughs> I remember where we were! Right here, yep, watching... ...her die over and over again in this guy's mind. But why is he having dreams of killing? I keep wanting to call her Risa. It's not Risa. It's Tessa. Alright, we will have a look at the files. See if there's anything else. Like, boys love. After this play of pure sublime love, there are many worthwhile works of art in the genre. Don't be so close minded. <laughs> Who mentioned boys love to us to get that added? Oh, let's just get rid of all of these. P! Uh, oh, the love hormone. P sync, the sinker, x ray mode. Sec A set, you bet! Oh, look at her all alive and shit. Shovel Forge! The name Shovel Forge is a parody of a popular game in the same genre which I will not mention for legal reasons. Illuminati... Okay. Wait, there's something else? Oh, there's more pages! Aha! Holy shit, there's a lot. Okay. Pupil dilation. Pupil die will dilate upon death. Wow. Never knew that. Holy shit, we got loads to read? Hell yeah! Endogenous morphine released in the brain, release pain, comes in nerves. What? <laughs> totally unrelated to dolphins. Odoin Kyoma. Otis pen name, yes. Spelling out the name in Hiragana, then change the letters to Kanji. Yeah. That's like a popular thing that people do, right? Changing the name to Kanji. Okay. Menu contains a number of special options that the customer can order, such as Mermaid will feed the customer with a spoon. Mermaid will play Mayong with the customer. The customer may pet the mermaid on the head. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so how much of this shit has Ota ordered? Because getting spoon fed, that was definitely one of them. He probably paid to pay uh, paid to pat the mermaid. Attend solely to the customer personally. He definitely paid for that. Write a message and catch up on the customer's omelette rice. That also happened. Raw oysters from Hiroshima. Are they like nuclear or what? Mermaid puts her thumbs into the customer's mouth and pulls. Mermaid gives the customer an elaborate back tattoo. Mermaid squeezes lemon juice onto the raw oysters. Mermaid poses with the customer, takes a picture, then prints a picture onto a custom tea set the customer can take home. Mermaid refills the customer's water after every sip. Jesus. <laughs> that got very, uh. in depth. The state in which the cornea of the eye turns white and cloudy, a common indicator of death. Oh. I'm learning so much morbid shit today. Volatile solvents. There was the vaporize at room temperature. Okay, cool. Saviour. I just said that Tessa is his saviour. Oh, okay. Boring. Another word for the torso. Client. An ant familiar with command line user interfaces. Wait, what? <laughs> cloud storage. We know about cloud storage. The Metropolitan Police. Metropolitan Police Department Headquarters. MVD. Boring. Where's the morbid shit? Time of arrival. Cortisol, a hormone secreted from the adrenal cortex. Triggered by stress, increases heart rate, body temperature, blood pressure, and blood glucose. Activates the body's defense mechanisms. Cool. Triggered by stress. Okay. Collage to glue in French. Really? That's what that means. Well, okay then. Sub. Abbreviation for sub account. Boring. I thought you were going to tell me about <laughs> submissive. Just jury executioner, what well, F believed himself to be, generally first describes someone total authority and determination. Alright, sink. Remember when Dante said I'm used to sinking? That was a pun. Dante is a sinker in a bit. <laughs> Thanks for the elaboration, game. A kind of step wound. Great. Aphonia. Uh, medical condition which a person cannot speak, usually form. 
some kind of stress or trauma similar to muteness. Not the same condition as aphasia, which is loss of the ability to understand speech entirely. Jesus. Juro, a kind of ramen. Broth is heavy with pork fat and piled high with thick cut noodles. Cabbage, meat, and whatever else the customer desires. Are these Juro ramen or Juros? Jurisdiction. Meh. Insanity. Legal terms is applies to situations in which someone is said to have lost all judgment or behavioral control. Stand alone. Boring. Kawasaki District. Boring. Time insomnium. Somnium. Anything for underground? Iris said that she doesn't get many gigs. She's more popular in the underground music scene, which nowadays means the internet. <laughs> in this context, income and call history. Uh, more dopamine. Hey, Dodov. We're learning today. Ain't that some shit? I found out there's more pages to the index than I initially found, so. Uh, internet cafe. Posterior pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is part of the endocrine system that hangs on the lower part of the brain. Not to be confused with the anterior pituitary, primarily secretes oxytocin. What is oxytocin? <laughs> we party. In Japan, a youth subculture exists known as Paripi, a portmanteau of party people. Typically describes young men and women who frequent dance clubs and parties. When was this mentioned? Ah, Dompy, a world famous champagne. I remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. A fraternity founded sometime between the late 16th century and early 17th century. Publicly, they are an organization devoted to the improvement of moral character, but in reality, they are. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, the Eye of Providence, Illuminati shit, Peptide Hormone. Common with a peptide bond. Peptide bond is a bond that occurs when the carboxyl group of a molecule, COOH, reacts with the amino group of another molecule, which generates water, has nothing to do with energetic tides. Okay. The top administrative office. Uh, boring. I cannot even. A slang phrase that intentionally excludes the verb, usually used to express bewilderment or stress. Jobs. When used by Yakuza, it means illegal, unscrupulous activity. Also has a sexual connotation, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, puncturing instrument. Ice picks and trowels fall into this category. Great. Uh, Lemniscape. Boring. Gig. Boring. Unless there's anything. No, nothing about Iris in there. Ah, yes, the three laws of robotics. I was curious about this, because I know about Isaac Asimov. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction. Allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it. A robot must protect its own existence. I remember this being mentioned somewhere, probably in Red Dwarf or something. Tips for investigation. Oh, okay, this is all just tutorial shit. Alright. And now back to the depressing thing. Wait, updated? What? It's still... Oh, Jacko. Now we've completely cleared it out. We can have a quick look at the flowchart before we go back to seeing our girl die over and over again. Let's catch up on the bottom floor now. Hey, hey. Um, I guess you can kind of guess where we're at. We are here watching Iris get stabbed over and over again, which is depressing. So what we've got... So I think this stream is basically just going to be a whole lot of jumping between timelines, right? Got until I brought So in Abyss. Oh, yeah, we're basically there. Um, we put So into Abyss, and then right before uh, we actually dived into his cranium. So, yeah, literally, basically there. Just don't forget... Oh god, I've already forgot- Speaking of forgetting, I've already forgotten what the hell was going on. A forklift. <laughs> we know she can't drive. There's one different fact from time to time. That is you! Oh yeah, I suppose that- Well actually, the way Iris died is different. That is true. Alright, I'm gonna drive it. Roger that. Leave it to me. Oh, yeah, only difference is a result of my actions. Yeah, I totally get that. 
Only I'm the one jumping between timelines. The Drift King. Yes. <laughs> Didn't you crash a minute ago? Drift King. I'm just dum dum. Oh, okay. Besides, the forklift is front wheel drive. Oh. Um, Iba. Uh, welcome back. Did we discover anything for that? There's something here. Maybe you should jump in. You might unlock a bonus stage. Please let. Do you have the mind of a child? <laughs> Please tell me it does. <laughs> Portal A. A mysterious warp space suddenly appeared. What? <laughs> what I just said is big dumb. Wait, what? <laughs> You should know I don't think about what I say. Um, first of all, throw a pebble. <laughs> what? What did I say? I'm immediately confused now. Wait, what the fuck? What? Appears to be connected to that place. Jump in then. It sounds hard to believe it was a pebble. Loki curious to try jumping in then. A portal. Oh, our only options are put your hand in or scream. Well, try putting the hand in. Oh, the way Iris died. Oh. Uh... Yeah. My hand. Yeah, you can do it. I suppose if I must. I, I suppose she could have died the same way and then just got chopped in half. Instead, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Maybe she was. I don't know. Wait. Oh, that's a very big hand. We'll figure oh, it out. I've seen a boss character like this before. Hmm. Wonder what game he's referring to. Giant hands are in a few different games. And she still gets stabbed uh, in the back. This is uncomfortable. Are those boxes in the way too? We do not have time to move each one. If only we could use that crane. Hey! All right. We did the first mental lock pretty well. Now what? Guess let's move over down here. Why is everything turning black behind me? Oh, it's turning back around me. Five minutes Wait. left, Otto. Hmm, well, can't get into you, so let's go into the warehouse. A warehouse door. Uh oh my god, a times four. Jesus Christ, no. I don't wanna do that. Uh wait, where's the map? That's X. Concrete fragments, warehouse door. Okay. Let's go over to the concrete fragments then. Concrete two fragments. This is so concrete. Kick them. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you dumbass. Are you okay? I want to go home. It's okay. Don't push yourself. Just give it another shot, okay? You can do it. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. You trying to be nice makes me want to cry. <laughs> All right, so the concrete fragments are nothing. Pieces of Unless, if we investigate them... It is the same material that makes up the ground. Oh. Though, I am unsure why it fell from the sky earlier. Oh, shit. So things that go through that portal come out supersize. Got it. Well, that was pointless. All right. Oh, this door looks different. I didn't notice that initially. A door to the warehouse. Cannot see inside. Uh, peek inside. Why does peek sound so perverted? Shush you. Isn't that perfectly normal to say in this situation? You sound like the kind of man who uses the word trim unironically. That isn't important right now. So I was right. No, just look, please. Well, 
if you really want me to. Oh my. What is it? Did you see something dirty? Shut up, pervert. Hentai? What is over there? Well, go in there. The Just go in. If there's more shit over this side, that could be useful. should have led to the warehouse but the warehouse door a control panel a aha i want to push the buttons kind of control panel input fighting game combo takes 120 seconds i'm making it one tenth and trying for humans to <laughs> I'm trying it. How the hell is Trimlo Digro? GH region combo. Fine, just be quiet. No, wait. Inputting that sequence of commands with the lever shaped like this. I think you can do it. I'll try. Was that the right option? My stupidity has rewarded me. Oh, it moved. Ring out! That's a KO! I love these two so much! <laughs> this is a weird camera angle to watch somebody run from. Why is Iver. I'm not sure if that's just a reaction, which is the same kind of feeling that I have, where it's like, oh, that's going to hurt, or I was actually in pain as if she was being stabbed. Honestly, can't tell. But hey, now it's just barrels. Barrels. Oh, my God, what is happening here? A warehouse door. It was my most five head move in some him to date. <laughs> Why? Because it took the most time, so I was like, yeah, I'll go for that. Why not? A warehouse door. Delivery! Ah, uh, yes. Deliver yourself unto me. Alright, now how the hell do we move those bayer rules? Box near crane, the crane. Warehouse door D. A warehouse door. This one's slightly open. Open it. Whoa. What's this? Something came out. Because it was the least pulled. The sea made this way was thought to be a delicacy for nobles during the Heian era. Uh, excuse me? Nobody needs to hear your superfluous narration. Whoa! Uh, we tell... Oh, we made her tiny. Oh, that's what happened. This is so weird. Ah, uh, okay. Each different thing has had a very Is the box hanging from the crane in interesting the uh, thing to it. Like Iris's was, oh, reenact the shit that happens on this TV. This one's just keep clearing obstacles. It's very, each, I, I keep going to call them palaces, but they're not palaces. <laughs> I'm playing too much Persona. Each um, Somnium has a very interesting uh, method behind it. Uh, Three minutes, how does she die now? In relation to me. Ah, okay, so we need to move this crane. A crane. Yeah, tackle it. No, probably ride, right? Not that I am against it, but... Can you not climb? I don't see any place to get a hold. Oh, god damn it. Alright, let's check out the box near the crane. A wooden box hanging from a crane. 
You know what? Neither of those sound like good options. You've less than two minutes, Dante. Oh, yeah. Iris is real somnium. Oh, okay. Jesus. Uh, throw something. How about this stone? <laughs> that was successful. Well done. Hit it, but nothing happened. <laughs> Well, what else have we even got? Crane, portal B. Wait, there's another portal? Oh, this portal. We can interact with this. this. Looks like a premium channel before you pay for it. Peek inside. Isn't this just gonna. Oh, I got smaller. Yeah. If you got any smaller, you'd be as flat as a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky. Don't see how that's going to help us though, because we already saw that. Uh, one minute left. One minute, Jesus. Uh, huh. Well, the only thing is really, unless I need to go through another portal. I've only been through D though. Uh. Alright, fuck it, let's... Let's check out warehouse door C. A warehouse door. Can we go inside? Hmm, listen or knock? Why do I feel like this is going to be absolutely pointless? Alright, uh, let's try some of the other shit to do with the crane. What was the other option we had? Crane. Tackle? What? I swear to god. There's no point doing this by force. Yep, didn't if think so. If we are so. going to move it, we have to find another way. Didn't think that would help. I'm just eliminating things before I retry. A wooden box. Can you push it? I doubt you can, right? Uh, yeah. No use. It is either stuck to the ground, or its cargo is extraordinarily heavy. Or you're just weak. <laughs> or your instructions are bad. Or Ouch. you're just lazy. Or your breath smells like garbage. This was worth it just for this. Anything else? Punch. Yes, yeah, so let's punch it. <laughs> it won't even budge. <laughs> Alright, I think we need to check out some of the other portals. Is the only option. Doctor, you've got less than 30 seconds. So what have we not investigated? Just a bunch of the doors. We need to figure out which one. Oh wait, there's Alright, that's where we started, right? So we've got warehouse dot A. Goes behind there. C D. Alright, uh, where's retry? From there, right? So now she's Three minutes, Dante. Wait, what? Oh, all right. Ah, right. So we're here now. So yeah, it's just a case of try different doors, I suppose. This okay, one's all fucky wucky. Let's listen. I hear deep, excited breathing. Oh! Don't tell me. Is it a panty snatcher? Well, that was pointless. Actually, what happens if a we not? I've still got more retries, so I might as well try each door. Is anyone there? No response. Even if there was someone there, they might not answer. What a surprise! Alright, so we've been through there. That got us out the other side. We haven't tried door E yet. You have less than two minutes, Dante. A warehouse door. Yeah, knocking is probably not a good idea, but... <laughs> is anyone there? We need, no we need to find another Maybe door that we can... Some... get through. We've been through F, right? None of the doors are open, though. 
Unless we can do anything with this portal again. No. Hmm. A warehouse. What the hell am I missing? Wait, the concrete fragments can be interacted with again. Pieces of Wait, no, I've already kicked and investigated them. I've already tried those. Just kicking it is actually the right choice now. Uh, let's go back through one of the portals, I guess. So I tried everything to do with the crane in the box near the crane. A door to the warehouse. Go in. Was there anything else on this side that I didn't do? You have one minute left. Well, I still pay. Knock and listen again. There's still nothing on this side, though. That we can interact with. Very strange. A warehouse door. Delivery! Haha, ha, it wasn't funny the first time. Doctor, so, you've got less than 30 seconds. Yeah, I know, boss. Wait, so what did I not try? Wait, warehouse door D? Did I just the think I'd gone through this? And I hadn't actually. Delivery. Was D the one I went through to? Oh! Now this is different. I thought this was the one I'd gone through to come out there. Okay, that makes sense. Three minutes, Dante. A warehouse door. Delivery. Okie dokie. So we have this other Is control this panel. Kind of So raise or lower or investigate. That's just half the time an input fighting game combo again. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any... I'm going to raise lever. Understood. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> I was correct. It was linked to the box. Okay. Good. Very nice. Oh, that boy is fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. She huge. It appears Iris was saved, barely. That shadow must be. Could be so, or it could not be. Eliminated the threat and made an escape path. Woo! -hoo! Evasive memory. We didn't find the secret eyeball in that one, though. Guess we need to do a bit more looking around. If I want all the secrets. I think that just fills out the gallery of images, though, right? So it's nothing too important. Iris was in the Somnium earlier. Yes, we saw. Yeah. An unidentified figure tried to stab Iris to death. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It could be so, but it could also not be. 
And Date and Aiba. Hmm. Who is that figure? Probably so himself. Mm. True. He could imagine himself in his Somnium that way. Mr. Date's ego algorithm processed the figure into that particular image. What are you people talking about? If you're quite done here, hurry up and release me. Release him on a lack of evidence and he dies again? Uh, why did you call Shoko? Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. Two days ago, you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. I'm guessing everything is going to be about the same response. About Iris! I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. I saw Iris in your dream. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. You killed Iris, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. I don't remember exactly what I said. I know I should be suspicious of you. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. You shot this man in the head sometime in the future, so... Boss. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris' body. Then how would he know what she... Wait, did we show him a picture of her earlier? No. He still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? I don't know. What was your alibi for Shoko's murder? What were you we'll doing at 5pm two days ago? Reading a book at home. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. He looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet. It makes him a bit dazed. Color is drained from his face. Ah, oh, can't interrogate him further. <laughs> I went five minutes again. Okay, true, but why would she shoot him and record it? Right? It's very weird. Uh, did the crime scene investigation team report anything? No, nothing yet. They arrived a while ago, but that warehouse is owned by Okira Fishery. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we It's know? not. Searching. Uh, can we get an arrest warrant? Probably not. Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. Shit. Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. Yes, exactly. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Um, excuse me. What? I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. And? Anyway, let me talk to my waifu, who's probably I also a murderer. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Of course, since you and Iba are one and the same, it's like you saved her, Date. But that was just a dream. It's not real. Saving her insomnia won't save her now. I'm sorry. Hmm. Maybe in a different timeline, though. The boss is standing there. Okay. Uh, hey, Pooter. I don't want to know how sinking works. During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnia. They enter the subconscious mind. Or, more accurately, sink into it. At this time, the sinker's memories are left in their original body. Picture an egg. The ego is the egg yolk that goes into the subject's brain. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, 
experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not Separate only don't it. interact. I get that. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent that into the subject's That much I totally brain. get, but... Imagine Maybe in a different timeline. From its I don't know. No matter how you try, some of like the egg whites will always. Once we have to all the information, like the true timeline, will save her or some shit. This is just like that. Uh, what is the ego algorithm? I feel Imagine like I need to exhaust all of this dialogue before we move made on. Up of two elements: memory and algorithmic structure. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. The algorithm is the program. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. All right, is that important? Uh, what is the ego algorithm? Again, I guess. Short, it is your ego algorithm. What you call your mind. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. All right. Oh, and I need to ask him about it again. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. Yeah, that sounds safe. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. The Wadjet system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. Okay, about the mysterious figure. The subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Somnium. But they might not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear, after all. Even the subject of the dream themselves. I told you earlier that the sinker oh is This is like the, the fourth time I've heard this today. Of an observer. Oh, rewatching VODs of this was a terrible idea. <laughs> that is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. Uh. But perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves. Like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. Rare for a politician, but not unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. Don't praise him. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees oh, you. Oh, don't bring religion into this either. It's an ability many charismatic people share. Uh, about the mysterious figure again. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous, it could be so. Indeed. Alright. Hey, phone call! Woo! Who's it gonna Dante, be? The investigation team is <gasps> Yes! Info! This is Dante from Abyss. What happened? Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. No good time. Yes. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Uh-oh. The one at Ariake? Where yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's... Uh, not here. Huh. What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. Huh. Ah. This is a problem. Alrighty then. Also, where's the ice cutting machine? From the other timeline. What do you mean there's no body? Uh I looked everywhere, but nothing. This is why I shouldn't have left the crime scene, Dante, damn it. I am not doubting you. 
However, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. Oh, God, we're not crazy, are we? I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. No, there's another possibility. There is? Oh. Where am I off to? I I am not in sync with the main character right now. <laughs> the Sargon Root. Why are we here? What? The fuck? D Date? The fuck? Iris. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? The fuck? <laughs> uh, um. Oh, you see, Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Um. Um, something wrong? Um. The world. Changed. What, what, um, uh, uh, um. I, uh, um. Um. Uh. Eh? <laughs> Bitch, what? <laughs> Um. Uh huh. What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm. <laughs> Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. She wasn't killed. Zawado. <laughs> True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. Impossible. Yeah, how... Although... But how else would you explain it? We did find that body in a previous dream, so... What... Iris came back to life. I sound like a crazy person. Alright, myself. I'm in Iber's line of sight. I can't question myself about this shit. A dream changing reality. It is absurd. Not possible. I Dreams agree. are figments of the imagination. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. That is preposterous. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? This conversation just seems ridiculous, but because it's a frigging video game, I know something's wrong. If you were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Within Mizuki's Somnium, you saw Iris's frozen corpse. Why did Mizuki have that in her Somnium anyway? It is affecting your mental state. Last night, you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? I would very much like that, actually. Where is Iris now? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. Doing the podcast about Renju. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Also, in this timeline, we haven't seen Renju's dead body. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park, yeah. There are three possibilities. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Renju, where did you go? Where is Renju? You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? It is possible she may have something for you by now. I've got a few places to check. I asked Mama for information too, but I had to promise him a meeting with Iris. Mama can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? Iba told me about her. About Okiura Fishery. I have done some research. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras. 
The same Okira as we know. Renju's father created the company. But he doesn't own it. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. This dialogue we've heard. Currently, Okira Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not yeah. in short. Ren he didn't inherit it, it wasn't that his. Can't be a coincidence. It certainly is suspicious. Ugh. Who owns it? About Okira Fishery. Again. I would suggest searching the where you may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. I have a jumped out of my eye socket. Okay. A dream changing reality. Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnia, and that changed the history of the real world? Very strange. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. Really? That isn't what you said yesterday. That was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know? No, it doesn't. Anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. You're putting a lot of faith into me. About so. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last night, but he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was an Iris's Somnium. Wait. What? Hold on. So was an Iris's Somnium. That's wrong. What? <laughs> um. You read that wrong, miss. So wasn't in Iris's Somnium. Iris was in So's Somnium. So was an Iris's Somnium. Bad game. Disappointed. Dreams are constructed from memories. Yet, the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. <laughs> Where's so now? I sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? She releases everybody that's gonna go get killed. We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. We've got a lot of people to speak to. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki Somnium. It must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Boss's knack for change is one of her good qualities. Not having beliefs is what she believes in. That's how she established herself as a major player in the police department, because she believed what she wanted to. Alright, summary! There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We have many avenues of investigation. Yeah, we do. Moving. Oh boy, okay. Let's go to the Sejima residence, because it's the top one on the list. This timeline has many more questions. <laughs> so Sejima is a key person of interest in this case. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name, and a burner phone rented under a fake name. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. One call oh. in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago from Fuchu Prison. Ah. They identified themselves as inmate number 89. There he is again. 89. Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. I know killed. Yeah, yeah. We we know about that. We don't need a flashback for it. Review mirror. Oh. Date. This reminds me of Egyptian mythology. How so? Hathor, the mother of Ra. The mirror was one of her sacred symbols. Wasn't she a cow or something? Why is everything linking back to Egyptian mythology? Uh, do you have anything funny to when say? When crash, 
The first thing you hit is the dash. Interesting. Steering wheel. Nothing else, glove box. This box is where you keep your doves. It's not a dove box. Oh, I was hoping it would save the dove box. Oh, wait, more dashboard. All right, Iba. Uh, we've already asked her about all of this. Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago? Who is 89? Also F, also Falco. I can determine, he is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. Yeah, Falco. we knew that. Correct. Okay, why am I freaking out? When, I whenever I freak out, you know it's an important plot point was just you mentioned. You have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shoko. He did, but that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. What is 89's real name? Unknown. You don't know? He is not registered in any databases. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant, but it would be impossible to determine from where. Mm. However, I did not detect any accent in his speech. I believe we can conclude that he grew up in Japan. Just give me that summary. Number 89. Should we visit Uchu Prison? No, we don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought to Abyss. Roger. Going back there, are we? Did we enter his mind or not? <laughs> so much has happened, I can't honestly remember. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over? Bitch, no. About Iris. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Why was she in your dream then? Dante. I knew he was lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her he doesn't want us knowing. What are you hiding so? What are you hiding? About 89. Number 89? Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. Uh, more about 89. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't help you. Ugh. Fine. Why'd you call Shoko? You are beginning to irritate me. As are you. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> Here's my warrant. Just punch him in the face. Why are you at the warehouse? I told you, I will not answer that question. That makes you so suspicious. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. Push him in the pond. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, you look busy. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date, I don't like you. And I know somebody who really doesn't like you. Doesn't like you enough to shoot you in the head, then chop you up into pieces and separate you into multiple vases, I don't as a matter ever of fact. Want to see you again. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. Oh, don't worry. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? Well, I tried. So I walked away sternly. Who does this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still have much to do. I know, I know. I'm just pissed off. <laughs> Alright, Marble. Let's go see our favourite mama. Big mama in the house? You need more info on Ren? Yes. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. 
Uh, why are you always brushing that fish? I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. Okay. End of that well, conversation. I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. Mm, no thanks. I do not know what she needs. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. <laughs> Absolutely not. About number 89. Oh, Falco? You know him? I know him as a famous assassin in the underworld. Just rumors, though. Nothing specific. What kind of rumors? Mm, he's good. 100% success rate. No evidence. He was a world-class killer. Did you ever meet him? Wombo combo. Nope. That ain't Falco. I don't even know what he looks like. Any other info? I know he's connected to the Kumakuras somehow. Them again. Well, that's about it. About Renju! You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? Yeah, I know. I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemniscate? Talent scandal? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemniscate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. Wow, he was connected? Hey, Date. Have you ever seen a dead body? Depends. When is this flashback from? I remember Renju saying that to me after he and I went through a bottle. You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. So, how about it? I didn't answer. I turned the question around on what him. about you? Me? Well, yeah. Elaborate? Not just one. Oh. Countless bodies. Countless? Bitch, when what? I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. Isn't this the kind of information that could get you shot? They started taking me with them on jobs. What jobs? The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? They live every day in loneliness and desperation. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. Yikes. You guys would get to know the old people and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water and they pass. Just like Jesus that. Christ, dude. Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. Christ. It's almost never investigated. They always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to respond to that I either. A lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. So I... I... Why am I telling you Why are you telling this? me all this? If anybody is listening in on this conversation, you are dead. Are you going to arrest me? Probably not. I took a sip from my glass and didn't say anything for a you while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But still... Date, I... Tears fell to the counter, unending. We didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. Well, ain't that depressing. Hey, Mama, uh, summarize for me. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. No, it's okay. I understand. No, don't worry about it. Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who is good friends with Ren. Ooh. They should be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Tonight? Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Am I going to get zapped by Ota again? Maybe that's canon. In Regardless of timeline. It Monday. Oh, Iris. Where is I she? I apologize for yesterday. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you, Mizuki has her voice back. Oh, yeah, that... No, that's I this didn't thing, do anything. It? I'm getting so confused. Because I'm re-watching all the VODs of the, the first two streams, which is obviously the first timeline, to, like, edit them and upload them to YouTube. And 
<laughs> now playing through this, I'm getting so confused between when each thing happened. It's Monday, isn't it? A school day. <laughs> Today's a holiday. I suppose there's never a day off for a detective. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. You forgot to, didn't you? About Iris. I put Iris through so much. She looks so sad. I was 19 and single when she was born. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was eh. such a fighter. She always protected me. Trust me. 19 isn't young for my hometown. I remember. One time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother. But it's Iris who's always protecting me. Where's Renju? Did something happen to him? Fuck if I know. Something should have already happened to him, but nothing's been reported. You asked me that yesterday. Why are the subtitles not matching up? That was very strange. There's no point in hiding it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. Right from the hospital? I'm sorry. I have no idea. What about your parents? They died when I was 17. Oh! I was an orphan. And my relatives lived far away. It might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. So I decided to stay here by myself. Jesus. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. But Renju would help sometimes. About Iris. It was always just me and her. Oh, she's so cute. Vacations, barbecues zoos, amusement parks. Just me and her. Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. I see. She loved singing and dancing. Even as a kid, whenever she heard music, her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with them. I tried to stop wow. her, of course. Brave. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. She's so adorable. About Iris. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them, right then and there. Music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping, even at convenience stores. When their little chime played, she would start dancing. It almost got her into trouble once. How? She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was playing loud music out the windows. So is it like compulsive? It's not actually just she wants to dance, she physically has to? She climbed up to the top and started dancing. What? But she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. It was on a Sunday and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Oh. She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's Ooh. not true. There was one other time. Yes, feed me all the Iris backstory. I want it all. Six years ago, I was the victim of a shooting. Yeah, we know that. After the surgery, Iris came in running. She was sobbing. Mommy, Aww. don't die! Don't die! She's fine. <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy! Don't die! She just got shot in the arm. It's okay. I swore to myself then that I would protect her no matter what. Iris is everything to me. Yeah, it would be a real shame if she died, huh? More important than my own life. So summarize. Iris must really enjoy dancing. 
Yeah. Though her drawing skills could use some work. <laughs> drawing skills? Look at the drawing on the wall. Yeah. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... And then you got shot in the arm. So, summarize for me again. Drawing on the wall looks interesting. Oh, I need to investigate I that again. About six years ago. Have you been to the Kume Shrine in the Minato district? I don't know, have I? I was praying there one day. I don't think I have. I heard a voice. Well, like Oh, shit. Yeah, now I remember why the shrine was important. That's where 89 was, like, dying up against it, right? In the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist and he held me. And then he kissed me. I was shocked, but when I stared into his eyes, then I heard footsteps and then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance and don't call the cops. I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. You're shady as fuck. I took him to a mob doctor? Why I should- Renju's friend. I only met him once. Oh, do I need to look at the picture? Oh god, my... <laughs> didn't move the camera correctly. Even though we had our first kiss seconds after meeting each other, it took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. <laughs> Imagine kissing before holding hands. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. A zombie jumped out and scared us, and he clung onto my arm. An assassin. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Interesting. Oh, Tony Sock. I want you Our to be in frame, but. In the car. It's cliche, I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. A warehouse, you say? I don't think we ever said I love you. Huh. But we both knew. We were getting closer and closer. Why does it come back to that I warehouse? I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first oh. met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life before. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. For three whole we months. To the beach, to the river, the zoo, the amusement park. You did a lot in a short space of time. Going with another person was a new experience for me and Iris. Everything felt so fresh. Every day was so exciting. More about the picture. Oh, sorry, you asked about the picture. You wanted to make Okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Iris saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. Oh, is that what they are? I thought they were like crowns. I was having so much fun that I put an economiyaki on their heads too. Flop, flop. I added the bonito <laughs> flakes and mayo and sauce. Jesus. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. It's nostalgic. Uh-huh. But those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November, a man with a gun broke into our house. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect him. The bullet hit me, but the police arrived. That's when you got shot in the shoulder. They were both arrested and incarcerated. Why was he after your boyfriend? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Plural crimes, actually. I don't know the details, but it was awful. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why. But I know that he betrayed them in some way. I already know his backstory. Wait, do we still? Oh, more May on I the ask picture. You something? Of course. 
I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. That's not true. I lied about it at the time. Because of Mizuki. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. It was her father figure. Iris looked up to him. She really should have... If she found out about his past... It's kind of fucked, honestly. He killed a lot of people. I was sure when she was talking. Okay. Now can you summarize for me? Date, we can't spend time reminiscing. We have to get moving. Yeah, All right. Cool. Where the hell is Iris? Oh, right. She's at London Skate, isn't she? <laughs> Never mind. It clicked. Recording the podcast. Is it going to start merging with where we were in the last timeline now? I am so aggro right now. Oh, that's a new one for the uh, for the index. Who says that? Why are you angry? You backed out on your shovel forge promise. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight, and you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. Iturup, Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai? I don't know what any of those things mean. Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well, uh... True ending, chick. Here she is! <laughs> Oh, okay. I want to know your measurements. Um, I'm 5'4". That is clearly not what you meant. Uh, can I have your contact information? I thought we already had it. But... Um, why? Well, because it may lead to something in the future. Hmm, I don't know. Date, we're on an investigation. Yeah, but this Just is important. Let me have this. This is very important, Iba. Can I have your contact information? That's enough. I'll come right out of your eye socket if you don't stop. Do it. I'm serious. I'm going to pop out. Do it. Iba flew out of my left eye and started dancing on the desk. The receptionist immediately fainted. Iris saw the whole thing and also fainted, and so my story ended the end. <laughs> But I couldn't let that happen, so I decided not to ask her for her information. <laughs> oh. What's your type? Well, I like guys that like New Guinea fruit bats and yellow spotted neck turtles. I cannot even picture that. Yeah. I'm confused. I want to know what Renju is. Dead, probably. I want to, too. We've been looking for him. We've been getting so many calls, it's hard to keep up with. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. Dang it, we can't do the same thing as before. All right. Fine, Iris, I guess we'll talk to you. Is Ota here? No. Uh, I saw your body. Iris, promise you won't laugh. I saw something the cold storage warehouse last night what your dead body <laughs> and she's laughing at I me i told you not to laugh but come on date i'm alive i'm right here look i can jump around Woohoo! stop i'm serious do you have a twin in my dream i saved you from being killed <laughs> and here you are why does it sound like he's slowly devolving into madness? Which is why I was like that when I went to your house yesterday. Sorry, there's no point in telling you all this. No, it's fine. Sorry for laughing. I just didn't know what was up with you. You should probably be dead, though. Huh? I believe you, Date. Do you? Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Oh, God. Another bizarre explanation. It could be possible. We don't know. I've definitely seen your dead body in two different ways. Why was your phone off yesterday? I know you were mad about our date, but why was your phone off? I couldn't get a hold of you. Um... About the late night visitor. 
Last night around 2 a.m., someone visited you. Who was it? And you left the house as well. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yes. And you do anything for the answer. Oh, God, there we go. Yes. All right, then. Shovel Forge. No. Please let me play Shovel Forge. Then go on a date with me. Again, no. But you owe me for yesterday. I told you I couldn't get a hold of you. Objection. Even if you did get a hold of me, you didn't want to see me anyway, right? Until you fulfill your promise, I won't tell you anything. Fuck. <sighs> Uh, where's Renju? What about him? I don't need to hide it. I told her about Renju's disappearance. A traffic accident? I'm worried. Any idea where he could have gone? I'm sorry, no. Sunfish Pocket! Do you know Sosajima, the politician? I've seen him on TV. Ever met him? No. Not at all. No, not at all. Have the day off. Off? Yeah, from school. Oh, yeah. It's a holiday. So I decided to come to Lemnusgate. We're going to do a recording for a show soon. Summarize for me. So, what are we doing? What do you mean? For our date, of course. What are we doing? <gasps> the choice! Well, of course I'm going to say go on a date. Fine. Hey, wait a minute. Yay! <laughs> Shovel Forge with me? I will not. Oh. So we'll go on a date then. <sighs> yes. Deal. And you have to honor our agreement this time. I can't believe it. Jealous, Iba. Oh, but we can't go right away. I have a recording coming up. I should be done by three, though. Tessa, we're starting soon. Got it. So, Date, meet me back here at three. If you go on me, then. I will be beyond furious. Anyway, bye for now. Peace. Bye. Iris smiled and strolled over to the studio. There is no point remaining here. Let's get moving. Ah, oh, I can't investigate the plant. Oh, didn't you want to go see the ants? Fine. Let's go to the warehouse again. I swear to God, if the body's back here. Nope. Okay, good. With Ivor in my left eye socket, I walked into the cold storage warehouse. I could see my breath. I looked around shivering. Nothing seemed changed from last night, though. Why on the conspiracy route? <laughs> sure as hell feels like it. Wait, has there been any other forks in the road? That's a good point to check, actually. Well, there doesn't seem to be another path. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks for spoilers there. But, um, yeah, so we went down this path, so we blew away the thing. So we saw Iris's dead body in Mizuki's dream, and then we went to go check up on her, and I can't remember what happened there, and then we investigated So's brain, and yeah. So now I'm not quite sure. Is there another path we could take from that? I don't think so, right? Because usually if there's a second path that we could have taken, it goes like this. Chapter has not been reached, so... Very interesting. But that's where we got to. Where boss shoots a man. Wait, file. Iterop Island? Let's see if there's anything else. Kunashir, Connectome. Anything else? Shikatan. How about I? Wow, aggro didn't appear. Kind of kind of sad. Ah, we can see day three. Whoa. Under his gloves, there's just like fucking Holes in his knuckles? The fuck? Well, alright. I'm glad we got a picture of her drifting a forklift as well. Alright. Why does it feel so zoomed in all of a sudden? Oil drum! Hi, I'm Dramaimon. Iba, the jokes, you've got to stop. There are boxes. cardboard boxes on the shelves. There is nothing abnormal about them. 
Shells or boxes? Uh, forklift. A forklift. It doesn't seem like it's in use. It was likely just left here. Switchboard. switchboard. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Forklift B. Forklift. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Forklift B. Workbench. First arrived here yesterday at 9 p.m. At that time, lying on this workbench was Iris's dead body, covered with a white cloth. But the second time, the corpse was gone. Like a magic trick. It was 11.25 p.m., but the body could not have simply vanished. Crime scene investigation was here before 11.25 p.m. When did they arrive? I blame Kagami. According to the report, 10.30 p.m. Oh, a body could easily be moved in an hour and a half. After we finished sinking with so. It took them an hour and a half to get here? Correct. Why did it take them so long? Unknown. The report does not specify. Perhaps a result of outside influence that is very suspicious outside influence. in any case there is nothing of note about the bench examining it will not reveal any further information the only person we told about the body was boss we didn't call up for the crime scene investigation unit immediately we were like boss there's a dead body you gotta get on it and then she was like okay and then we just went to go get So. So she was probably like, yo, you gotta move the body. And then after she confirmed that the body was moved. Mmm, boss. The crane on the ceiling. Nothing has changed. Hmm. Anything more about the workbench? Oh, forklift. Tires are frozen. There are only a few items on the shelf. It is likely that this warehouse isn't in regular use. It's a wooden box. There is nothing in Empty box, cardboard box, nothing in it. More about the shelves. We searched the warehouse again, but we didn't find anything useful. Nothing. But finding nothing may, in fact, be something. What do you mean? I was just thinking out loud. Let's get going. Date, your temperature is dropping. At this rate, they might find your body in here. Oh, what a shame. Alright, back to Abyss. Oh no, our date is in 10 minutes. I returned to Abyss HQ with Iba. I needed to talk to the boss. As I entered the room, the boss smiled like she was waiting I for me. I took care of what you asked for. Number 89? He's here, in the interrogation room. I'm on it. You'll go without me this time. I have some errands to run. Oh, do you now? One of the higher ups needs me. I'll have Pewter go to the interrogation with you. Understood. Suspicious. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be the same as last time, isn't it? So, are you going to tell me your whole life story again? At least I'm not, like, super pissed this time. Wasn't I, like, really angry the last time we investigated him? Let's get started. How many people have you killed? I don't know. It's not like I'm counting. Fair enough. Where are you from? Djibouti. Northeast Africa. A small republic of roughly 900,000. Djibouti. I don't take kindly to stupid lies. Do she got booty? She do! Oh, you know about that. It's true. I called Sejima's secretary. I got him on the line and I told him something very important. You spoke with him directly? Yeah. What did you tell him? I told him to call somebody. Somebody? I can't tell you anymore. <sighs> What's your name? Falco. Number 89. Your real name. I don't know, I forgot. That's Shaka's mother. All right, let's get back to the topic at hand. Two days ago, you called our investigation office. You said you know who killed Shoko Nadami. That's right. Who? Hey, don't be so hasty. We haven't agreed on a deal. You're gonna let me out of prison, right? Yes, I promise. <laughs> You're lying. You don't want to release me. 
That feels different. That's fine. I was expecting this anyway. I just wanted a good excuse to leave the prison. What do you mean? You really want to know? Here's what I mean! This is definitely different. Ow. Pewter? You don't want to get involved at all? You'll make a good hostage for me. Well... Take me to the exit. Now. All right, then. Well, we suck. Oh, darn. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Okay, how did he get out of his cuffs? Like, what? How did we fuck this up so bad? Guys, where's 89? How would I know? After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I, I have an idea. Right there. How did he get away? He punched out an officer and stole his clothes. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He got on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He even stole my security card. You know, why am I suspicious of you now? He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. Like, I was getting the shit kicked out of me and you just sat there. Before he took my gun. It took him about uh, five minutes. You're both suspicious to me. He must have planned this. You're rather calm about all this. I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm in a bit of a fugue state right now. Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. That doesn't look like my gun. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. Are you gonna shoot me with it? Peter is standing calmly. Hey boss. Uh apologize, I guess. Boss, it's my fault he got away. I'm sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. I'm the one who has to go on an apology tour now. <sighs> you really messed up this time. Apparently I did. I guess. Summarize for me. That's it. I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. I checked all of them. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. So he had an accomplice? Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. Who was it? You and I know him well. Renju? And he's still alive? I told Boss and Peter what Iber revealed to me. Renju? Why? Uh, uh, um, this is so severely different. Moma is home. Moma? From the Kumakuras? I'll connect him. What? Uh, you? Hi? Hey, Date. I just got the word. Renju's been seen. What? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Deal? What deal? You forgot already? I'm talking about Tessa. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Uh, I almost forgot about that as well. You know what to do. What should we do? We have no choice. We have to take her. To Moma? Yes. This is all kinds of wrong. Oh dear. Okay. Hey, I'm late for our date. Are you still here? Yeah, you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trust me, I late, know. Late, 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 late. You're late. And now I'm going to take you to the Yakuza! I'm going home. Never! Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? Are you drunk? No, of course not. You're drunk. I kid, 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 kid. I'm kidding! I can't believe I'm going to shovel forge with you. I'm getting excited! We are not shovel forging. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel Forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? Uh... 
Um. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Maybe I'll just be blunt. Yeah, to a Yakuza office building. No point lying to you. I need you to come with me to an office. I'll have to inspect it though. What? An insect show? I didn't know you were into that. Wait, what? Well, okay. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's go to the insect show. Did you mishear me? She didn't completely understand, but I didn't have time to care. I took Iris to the Kumakuras. Kumakura office. Hi. So, where are the Aziptila Praticolas? What? <gasps> Tessa! Oh, is this guy the Aziptila Praticola? I don't know what that means, but sure. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Are you the insect trainer? Go ahead. Sorry for interrupting. Start the insect show now! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a gangster den. Indeed it is. It took you long enough. Dante, you tricked me! I wasn't trying to trick you. You just misunderstood me. But I wanted to see the bugs! I really did! Why do you and Iva both have a thing for insects? Oh, so she likes insects as well. Don't tell me. Like, is... <laughs> no, that couldn't possibly be it. Iva couldn't possibly be based well, on our old I memories of Acer. You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? Sorry, Iris. Uh, sincerely oh. apologize. Sorry for bringing you here. It, it's okay. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. Because that makes it so much better. Not as contradictory as meatless beef. <laughs> the old boss was really violent. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But after I took over, we went crystal clean. <laughs> okay, crystal. dude. Crystal? Methamphetamines. What? <laughs> no, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Cut? Their throats. No, not like that. <laughs> this is... I all of a sudden love Moma. In this timeline, I actually adore him. Uh, this is Moma. Oh yeah, I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24! Jesus Christ. Moma is lying. He is at least 48. Oh. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. You run the Kumakura gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? Hmm. Let's just take a quick look around. Oh, wow. Basically turned all the way around in here. Yep. Looks like an advertising agency to me. Is he stupid? All right, Iris. Uh, introduce Moma some more. Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASAP fan. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. Gambling. Bet, debt, ASAP! <laughs> it's like a tick people have. Worries. Uh, forget, fret, ASAP! Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet! Wow, my catchphrase! Thank you! <laughs> this, this is kind of embarrassing. But sorry, MoMA. I don't like gangsters. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> <gasps> no! The horror! I don't like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> uh, who are you trying to fool? That Renju! What happened to Mr. Okiura? I heard he escaped the hospital. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Ranger's escape from the hospital was strange. Three things stuck out to me. I laid out the facts. Mizuki was lured to the place where Shoko's body was found by a message sent from Renju's phone. 
I found Aris' body in Okura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Earlier today, Renju fled with a prisoner, escaping a life sentence an assassin named 89. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Yeah, don't question it. It's really weird. Oh, well. Date saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. It's really strange, yeah. A parallel world? Never heard of it? Oh, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I suppose he He does. doesn't. Good. I don't feel like explaining it. But why would Mr. Okira do that? Because he's not dead like he's supposed to be? I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Mm. Either way, I need to find him. So, about the Renju tip. You said on the phone that you saw Renju. Yeah, I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. I could. Hey, I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. Dante, come here. Give me a kiss. Moment took me to the corner of the room. Dante, I don't quite know how to ask this. But... Oh, Jesus Christ. What are, you, what are you doing? Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? <laughs> oh, don't worry, buddy. I got oh, you. That's it? Sure. Murmur and I broke our huddle. Iris, could you do me a favor? A favor? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. <laughs> That's what Dase wanted. Oh, a handshake. Sure. I would never show my boobs. Are you sure about that? Iris took Murmur's hand gently and shook it. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? All right, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. First, Sunfish Pocket, the main Oh, uh, no. Second, Ikume Shrine. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Got it, thanks. No problem, bro, really. All right, um, where are your goons? They're out, looking for Renju. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Good point. All right, that's an expensive looking ring. Why do you care? Can I have it? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. All right. We found a simp on the level of Osa. Wait, 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 no. I, I can't give you this. You're so cheap. Come on, it's not like you're losing it. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aww. Why are we trying to swindle a mob boss? <laughs> what? You guys are a good team. Like siblings. <gasps> Don't tell me. Is that our actual relationship? All right, um... Iris, summarize for me. Anyway, Mama, take care of Iris for me. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? Yeah, am I not bringing you with me? You'll be safe with him. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that now? Would you like to reconsider your statement? Are you serious? Look at his face! Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that! I told you, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government regulations. See ya. Wait! What about Shovel Forge? I told you, I never promised to play with you. But you promised me a date. D Dante, is this true? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Moma has very quickly become my favorite character <laughs> alongside Dante. Could I just have a game where it's these three in a room? Just, like, give me 30 hours of just these three interacting with each other. Good idea. Date, you're gonna look for Mr. Okiura, right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. Oh shit, that's actually a good deal. Her late night visitor. Fine. Yay! 
Dante, don't ignore me. I'm sorry, Moma. I want to give you the world. Go. I really do. Oh, that's just a toy. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. We have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket and Kume Shrine. Let's go to the Shrine first. I want to go to the warehouse, too. Oh, that's Where a good shout. my dead body. Something bothering you? No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Sunfish Pocket! We can eat there. Oh, my chest hurts. I'm getting hard to breathe. You okay there, Momo? You gonna, like, die or something? Okay. Ooh. Interesting. All right, let's go eat first. Matsushita Diner. Is Ota here? Ah, I'm so hungry. T Tessa? Why are you here? Oh, God. You know, I was kind of hoping you wasn't here. I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away. Ota flew into the kitchen. Iris watched him go and take a seat. Oh, Iris watched him go and took a seat. So, uh, what's your usual? Wow, that's actually a question. What's your omelet usual? Rice. Oh, boring. Ota's omelette rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Um, is that a compliment? <laughs> you're embarrassing that's me. That's not a good thing. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. Uh, about Iris' resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean, coming back? Back to life. Don't worry about it. Uh... I decided to tell Ota about Iris's resurrection. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Tessa died? Yeah, in more ways than one. Yep. It's kind of freaky. You've been here before? Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but... She really doesn't like you. I don't think she likes me. No, she doesn't. That's not true. <laughs> Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. You're not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like us. The fact that she nicknames you the witch. Oh, she's sitting in front of me. Okay. Hey, Ota. Where's your mom? She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I was just doing some meditation, lying on the ground. He means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? We're on a date. <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date, huh? Wait. A date? <laughs> I was gonna say, you'd need to have a bit more of a reaction. I'm on an investigation and she wouldn't let me go. No, call it a date. Make him jealous. Date, I have some delicious fuku eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. I don't know what route this is. No thanks. I'm so Fine. confused. All right, Oda. Where's Renju? You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before, I don't know. That route? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> What's going on? About the parallel world! Hey, can you tell me about Wait, this parallel so, okay. world idea in more detail? That has brought up the question. So, although the flowchart is sending me down this way, is there still multiple things that I'm missing from this? So, like, even though I've gone down this path, is there multiple routes within that path? I just realized the lighting's fucking weird. Because I didn't turn this on. <clears throat> There we go. Now you can see my beautiful face better. So, like, because you're saying it's that route. It, I, did I fuck up? <laughs> did I do something wrong? <laughs> I really don't get it. Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well, 
Prepare your brain for nerve impact. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, There's scissors. There's no wrong in this game. Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. Okay, but like, is there multiple scenarios I could end up in through this? Because obviously, like, the flowchart just shows one line, but... We just shake hands. You're calling it, like, that route. As if to say, somewhere along that path. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? Anyway. I'll do anything. Oh. A anything? Mm-hmm. Anything. I don't like that hand movement. Date, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. <laughs> Why exactly is that? All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, it's a lull okay, fruit. All right, go. good to know. One, two, three, shoot. I've never lost at rock, paper, scissors in my life. Rock! Shoot! Damn it! A tie. The most boring result. Well, we agreed on the rules. Aww. Let's shake hands. Shaky, shaky. <laughs> Look at his horrified face. <laughs> oh. We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. Yes. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Oh my god. She knows. Or maybe you could have seen me naked or something. Shit. We're going back. Why did I choose rock? What exactly <laughs> were you going to make her do? <laughs> so those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. Oh my god. Right. Well, I said this when we first started the alternate path. Do they know about parallel Timelines. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? I mean, that statement isn't wrong, but in the context... That's what I think! Oh, it's, it's so hard to wrap my head around, because yes, you got cut in half, and that's why I'm here now, because I'm taking a different route, but also because I saw you frozen and stabbed in the back, I also technically, I guess, changed time with... I, Oh, <laughs> my brain hurts. Huh. Parallel world, huh? Can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. I'm glad you understand that. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? Or the I 100 do. million balls? If I explain that, would you believe me? What about 100 Sounds million really balls? interesting, Tessa. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man... And the lost friend? And the story of two sisters? Oh, story of two sisters. I have heard people talking about it. Uh, the Mandela effect. I know this one. Do you know Nelson Mandela? I do. Well, yeah. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. Wow, you died in 2013. Knowledgeable. But a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? I That's don't... I don't fact. get where that started. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. Uh, Mandela effect again. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with yes! the bears having different spellings. The Berenstain Bears! This is the one I know or about. people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. I never recommend. Okay. Huh. I know. I, it, I know it wouldn't too. be the solution, but. Or that electric yeah. mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. Wait, electric mouse from that video game? Wait, what? It wasn't. Nope. It's all yellow, and the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. The Mandela Effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. It is a very interesting phenomenon, I will, I will agree. Dante, look at this picture. I just pulled up a picture on her phone. Oh shit, I know about this from Persona. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? I know this! 
Oh, this is a Persona 5, Boba and Kiki. Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is Booba, and the jagged one is Kiki. Isn't that weird? In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. Because Kiki has sharp-sounding letters to it, where Booba sounds a bit more soft. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Most he gets his brain blasts, yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to put my thoughts into words. Oh, they're on about Pikachu. Um, I don't know, I've never thought about his tail being black-tipped, but I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it feels just like the characters are aware that there's multiple timelines. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that that's the solution. There's going to be one definitive timeline. Uh, oh, time dilation, yeah. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. Like worshipping the sun and the sea. Um, but yeah, so I feel like there's going to be one definitive timeline where the order of events are definitive. And like that's the true ending of the game. But it almost feels like in this timeline, the game is self-aware in the sense where it's just like, Haha, you saw her dead, so that's why you're here now. Just like almost the game just pushing that idea at you. Which is hilarious. I love that self-aware shit. But it's... Yeah, I, I guess I didn't really make it clear because it was hard to put my thoughts into words. But yeah, it's like the game is telling you not the characters and the actual solution to the game being a result that the of that. Is soft and the father is jagged. Wait, what? Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. Mementos. There exists a second psychic system of a collective, universal, and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Oh. Human psyches might be like that too. Yeah. Connected at a subconscious level. That's... A parallel world? Mementos! Yeah. You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. 100 million balls! This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? Receptionist girl is true ending. I... Did I get that true ending by Iba popping out and everybody fainting? No, what? <laughs> is that the true ending of the no game? humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. This game is touching on topics that are all very interesting to me. And yet, here we are. Uh, 100 million balls again. Imagine a box full of ping pong balls, labeled one to a hundred million. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... I love the theory of multiple universes. I'm not gonna lie. I, it's so fascinating to and me. And it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had to think. In it. Oh well, maybe there's a universe where I didn't ever start bowling, and shit like that. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. She does fake the dumb bitch energy. Um, the two sisters. So there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room, and her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it, but she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. What? She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. But then, B hears her sister at the door. I'm home! B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. That's so, so weird. B asks, 
when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. He is really confused by all of this, of course. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns- So Ota's going on about on. weird conspiracy shit that doesn't sound realistic, but... <laughs> I keep gonna call her Risei again. Fucking Tessa is actually on about, like... And before she went shopping with her psychology mom, shit. she was deciding whether Science. or not she wanted to stay and watch <laughs> and it or not. I, I don't know what you'd call it, but more like theory crafting. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah, and what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. Uh, anything else? I know a ton of stories like this. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future. And there's a missing persons report out for you. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not oh, the one that, you remember having. That would be freaky. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. That would be so freaky. Sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. <laughs> <laughs> like an English person playing a Japanese game. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know. But the language is different. <laughs> Fucking dubbed anime! <laughs> That's a prime example of a parallel world. The Lost Friend. There's this kid, A. He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day, after school, car, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. What? Eh? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. Uh, what? The nerves were still connected, but... That doesn't sound a possible. A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. <laughs> that reminds me of that family guy bit. So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Well, Your basically that happened. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So... They just part ways and go home. The story only gets weirder from here. The next day, okay, he goes I figured to out what I was thinking about. Suzuki's so Ota's is a lot more about stories that he's heard, and he's Asus is a lot more about, about it. phenomenon. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. Hey says, what are you talking about? Ota is creepy past the subreddit. <laughs> Ace is he goes and science asks is cool. All his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Why are we still talking about parallel universes? How long does it Suzuki take to make omelet rice? Friend or something? Ah. No, A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird, and there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Uh, gross. That makes me feel genuinely sick. Eyes are easy to replace in their Fucking gross. Oh my god, I don't want to think about it. Get it out my head. Uh, 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 I hate it. Oh, uh, gross. That doesn't uh, prove this Suzuki exists. Oh, this is giving me the same sort of feeling as when he was on about the potato peeler up the leg. Oh, don't put that image in my head. It hurts. Well, I guess not, but... Oh, I genuinely feel a bit sick at the thought of that. Gross. All right, just summarize for me. you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. Oh, I no. find that stuff fascinating. No. If you want, we could talk about those. Maybe next time. Now 
Where's that omelet rice? Oh, thank Dad. God. Oh, it's a brought the dish over. Is mine poisoned? He laid out an omelet rice in front of me and Iris. I just grabbed a spoon with a huge smile on the face. Bone up the teeth. She picked up a spoonful. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoonful. Eh? She tried. What? What is happening? Eh? You okay? Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Uh, um, Iris and I ate the omelette rice in near silence. There was no conversation, just the sound of the spoon hitting the plate. The diner echoed with it. And before uh, long... Thanks for the food! Iris was totally re-energized. Her face was back to her usual easy smile. That was good. What the hell was that? Oh, to your omelette rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. Where is your dad? I paid for the food and stood to go. Because she Let's had that going. weird thing where she just kind of randomly collapsed as well. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. All right. To the map. I forgot there's a shit ton more we actually need to do about this. We had such a large tangent. Oh. Alright, let's go to Sunfish Pocket. Is Renju dead? Is Renju dead? Exo... Alright. Alright. What the hell is that? That's got such a weird name. Exo... Thalmos. Oh, no. Oh, the bulging of the eye out of the orbit. Gross. Ah, oh, ew. Ew. I thought you were giving me something cool about what A-Set was on about. <laughs> ew. It was Mizuki. I was on a sat at Mizuki's table. Wow. This is surprising. Oh, my God. You have the Orichalcum Trident. Oh my god. What's going on here? Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's... This is awkward. Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh. Oh, no trouble at all. Is it actually Anything. a story clue? <laughs> my queen! Which one? All three of them are my queens. You can even live with me if you want. <laughs> That's a great idea. The roommate I have right now really sucks. How dare you? <sighs> this girl. Hey, Mizuki. Um, what are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? No. It's weird that Ota was here. Kind of strange that you're here, but I don't feel as weirded out about it. You just pay for the head pats. Don't you? I'm calling it now. You got that Orichalcum Trident purely from headpats. Why do you care what I do? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Good. Not gonna talk about a trident holding. Um, excuse me. Oh, the mermaid took me to the corner of the store. Hello. Mizuki was crying earlier. Crying? Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom? Oh, she just gets it. Oh. Ah, uh, that makes sense. And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. Hey, this is a better timeline than the other option. Let's be honest. At least it was only her mother that's died. In the other timeline, her, she saw her mom's dead body, then she saw her dad's dead body, and then her best friend died, and also Ota died, which I guess also classes as a friend. She watched... 
she saw two dead bodies and she saw two people die on a live stream. Wait, no, one was on the live stream. She didn't actually see Oda die, but she knew that he died. Now that's fucked up. This is less traumatizing. I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Oh no. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. Can do. Can I not investigate the trident? I'm going to talk to the mermaid. X-ray again! Hell yeah, those hips. Those are some nice hip bones. <laughs> Every time. Can we do it again? The more I look, the better it gets. <laughs> what is the other thing for skeletons? Can we keep doing it? Wow. Those are some gorgeous hips. Uh, my... <laughs> he said it out loud. Oops. You are now officially a creep. <laughs> Do it again! The moment at Sunfish Pocket has fantastic hips. I'm just saying, that's a really nice pelvis. <laughs> Any more? Oh, no, we've exhausted it. Okay. Worth it. Look. The moment girl is standing there. Alright. What do you like in men? Well... A triple wart sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. What does that mean in English? She likes a mouthful. <laughs> oh, crap myself up with that one. About your relationship with Mizuki. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. Is she now? I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's not like that. We're BFFs. She wields extraordinary power with that trident. The Okiura family is really something else. So, Mizuki, about the Okiura fish, fish warehouse. Why are you asking me about that? Good I'm question. Curious. That company was made by my grandpa, but Daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. All right. We can ask you about it again, I guess. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. Date, look. Oh. She's lying? Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. About Renju. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. So this timeline is inconsistent with the other one. Very much so. Because Renju is alive and well. Interesting. Alright, Mermaid, what you got for me? Was Renju here? I've heard that Renju was sighted here. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but yesterday. Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. Damn. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Convenient. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Um, you didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. Maybe you should give me your number. Damn it. We just missed him. Damn, we should have flirted with the mermaid more. What was he doing here? He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Huh. That's weird. Looking for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. Mizuki? Mizuki? I wish the camera pan was a bit faster. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anything else you can tell me about Renju? Anything else? Well, he did seem really sick. Probably from blood loss. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. Perhaps. Alright, nothing more. Wait. Did, oh, I thought I could x-ray her for a second. Do you know this mermaid? She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work too. We go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Oh god, you're both into the occult. Away. Blow those boys away! Yeah, blow those boys! 
<lacht> um, Mr. K. Mizuki, uh, <laughs> you really shouldn't say that. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, um, moving on about Renju. <laughs> Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. <sighs> you know how my mom is single? Mm. He really supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by Lemon Escape all because of him. Iris used to stream all her own content. I know. Including her own death. Singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemon Escape. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Oh? Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Oh, was he now? Talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemon Escape. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. He didn't want any other agencies to have her. I didn't know that. Aww. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. Well... Uh, about your visitor last night. Iris, I still need to know. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. What? This is the date. I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. Oh, God, no. <laughs> you like dancing, right? the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body ever since I was a little The girl. more I talk to her, the more I'm just like, God and damn it, you're so too. cute. Yeah, She's fast? I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Hey, want to hear something cool? Yeah, go Iris on, is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake, then. You want to race? <laughs> Go on, then. Sure. Let me get the chance. We won't get the chance. She's probably still going to die. Could you show me your dance? Right here? Oh, I want to see, too. Me, too. I would also like to see that. Yes! Mm, I don't know. You don't have any music, but... Um, Yay! Thank you, mermaid. <laughs> the mermaid didn't listen and hurried off. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! All right, we're ready. All right, world, get ready. See my dance. Invincible Rainbow Arrow. Hit it. Isn't this the same thing that was on the screen? At 2 a.m. Oh my god, it's the full version! You'll think that I'm hiking this old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre. I'm trying to read the lyrics to see if there's anything important. I don't think there's gonna be.
Dancing Chica Pyramid is appropriate. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> Well, that was nice. <laughs> Thanks, game. What song? Mr. O'Pira wrote the music, and I wrote the lyrics. So it holds a special place in my heart. That's right. I forgot he wrote it. <laughs> yeah, he's really talented. I look up to him. He's done so much for me. I know I can rely on him more than anyone else. Um, uh... I'm at a loss for words all of a sudden. Are we done? Ah, oh, boo. All right, summarize for me. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. Luckily, we didn't find him dead, well, we though. We discovered that he was looking for Iris. But why? We can think about that later. Let's get going. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's go to the shrine. I assume we're going to end up at Marble later. Just off of a hunch. Ooh, creepy. Is a fox going to jump out? You okay? <laughs> it's okay. Why does I she keep... just, uh, missed a step there. Why is she so weak? That definitely wasn't morning sickness. Oh, this is cute. Hey. Your thoughts? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Wait. Is this where we played patty cake? And that's why I had the flashback of you? Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. <gasps> someone? I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. Oh, I thought of my him as God. a father. Oh, I know. You're thinking of the guy that shot your mom. But one day, he just disappeared. She's talking about Hitomi's lover. Okay, it's not me, luckily. Uh, about this uncle. When you asked me why I became an idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for uncle. I've been looking for him for six years, but I didn't find him anywhere. I didn't huh. know where else to look, so instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if he became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. That's a part of it, too. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh no, I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Aset. Ah. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. Why? Uh, what are you looking at? A flower over there. Where? Is flower? It, is it out of my field of view? You can't see it from here, can you? Nope. I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. What is Iris looking at? I'm curious about the flower Iris is looking at. Can I... Uh, I can't turn my head. Alright, let's ask everything else first. About Renju. Mr. Okura isn't here. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. It appears we've wasted our time. No, well, I wouldn't call it wasted. This is quite a nice little moment. About the shrine. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto. Or sometimes Ikume Tenno or Ikume no Mikoto. Yep, I don't remember that. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko sent one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an urgent quest to find a mysterious magical fruit. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. Why do I feel like I've heard this story After before? After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to... Oh, wait, no, that's King's fruit. Quest. I'm thinking of King's Quest, where the um, the daughter of the king goes out to find a fruit that will heal the guy. But by the time he got back, the king. Ikume Iribiko had died. Taji Momori mourned. 
He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. Whoa. It is said that that fruit is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? The fruit of immortality? Yes. Immortality, huh? Not interested? No, not really. Really, Date? Really? I'd rather have normality than immortality. What is Iris looking at? Can I... Guardian dog statue... Oh, it's those flowers. Envy? Ah! Bright. An iris. Ah. Uh... A winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at Iris's house. A winter iris. Now, can I talk to her about it? You're looking at a winter iris, aren't you? Yeah. How did you know? I can turn my head and zoom. It's the same kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A wow. messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket, right? It all connects. That's why the flower means good news and hope. So, summarize for me. Date, we have no time to waste. We should get moving. Got it. Alrighty, to the warehouse. If the body's here, I would actually freak out what is happening. Ugh. Okay. I saw it. I'm sure. Your dead body is not here. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. Are you sure it was her corpse? But I'm here now. It the hair looked more purple than pink. Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> Unlikely. You look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. You know what? Yeah, that's a solid argument. You've got me there. I tried to picture Iris is <laughs> swinging down there like that. And then I decided not to. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? I did. What did you mean by that? Uh, I was in the head of So, the congressman. In his dream, and then I stopped a uh, figure from killing you I in that dream. told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? Good question. We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. That's not an explanation. It's Tell me how hard it works. to explain. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background to understand. Background? Oh, God, we're going to go through the whole backstory, huh? Oh, Jesus. All right. Do you know about the Wadget system? I guess not. No, I know what it is. Wait, what? It's the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. How do you. What's wrong? No. What? You're shivering. Well, it is cold in here. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're worrying me. Hmm? To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. Wait, is Iris an AI? Is that why she can't help but dance anytime there's music? Because it's part of her programming. <laughs> this data is sent to the brain, which achieves the same. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Heard of it. I'm scared. The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the school, there's an army of <laughs> I only live teeny to dance. soldiers that surround the brain. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it. Yeah. The blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. <laughs> I swear to God, if something I've said out, if I've said something in jest and it turns out to be. True. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an it's kind of a weird no specific detail that a set is really into insects, but so is Iba. You know what I mean? Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. I swear to God, if you're an AI, <laughs> I'm gonna flip my shit. Nanotech? Yeah. That's how she could die and be alive still. She couldn't. She might not even exist. 
Technology related to really small things, like really teeny tiny things. And when they make a machine, they're called nanomachines. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Some of the cutting edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. She's not an AO. Okay, thank you. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Haha, <laughs> 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 nanos go beep, beep, beep. Well, I don't know if it was like beep, beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. But he's pretty liberal, so... Alright, so... Largely accurate. Going off my line of thinking of them both weirdly being into insects, though. So, if we've ruled out that Iris is AI... <laughs> I've played too many Square games. <laughs> you know what, that's probably true. Uh, but yeah. It feels like there's almost some connection between Ivor and Iris. Nano is a prefix you know what I mean? Ten to the negative ninth power. I, m I might just be stretching, but a nanometer is therefore zero point zero 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 one meters. The sink machine uses machines. It's a very specific detail that she was like hell or interested in insects, and so is Ivor. So. Viruses are on average twenty to nine hundred seventy nanometers. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than Gonna that. get lynched if I get coins in This allows them to access neural circuitry. Yeah, Square Square fans would probably sync, hate you for that. Nanomachines are used but it's to fine. In the sinker's data. Um Here's how sync works. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sink gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say go away and push them back? Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sink to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. Close. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and. No, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Wait, you break open people's skulls in Shovel Forge? Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. Ew. So you're telling me this friggin' Oculus Rift headset goes behind our eyeballs? The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes. No, nope, I don't like that. No. Uh, suddenly, I don't want this technology to exist. Then go to the back of your eye socket. Then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. It's only a chunk of protein. <laughs> Damn, way to put it down, Ivor. Here's how sync works. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree. And on the tip of each cable, the nanomachine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Very interesting idea. Also very gross. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche, one consciousness. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering wheel? If there were two, there would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay. Eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. Shit, she really got us there, huh? What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. I see. Oh yeah, in my case, my thing just hooks up to Iba, which is very helpful. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain. And the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes. Or else, the house will collapse in our heads. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. Oh. Interesting. Alright. Thank you for explaining it. 
I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Me enter brain and dream world. Clues just appear. Don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman Sosajima. So that's why you know so much about him. Mm. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Thermograph? Okay, we don't get thermograph. Hey, Date, you saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. Why are you vibrating so much? And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Okay, there's some weird shady details around that. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's your dead body. Honestly. Hmm. Date, that means you're... Achoo! Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, I'm freezing too. Iris, let's get out of here for now. Roger that! Oh, she's so standing there. Alright, can't do it. Her. Yeah, marble! And this is where we're gonna get tasered and she's gonna get kidnapped and sold in half, right? Maybe? Oh, shit. Phone call. Hello? Hey, Mama. It's me. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is <laughs> she a virgin? Whoa! Uh, I don't know. Is she? Huh? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? <laughs> God damn it, Mama. There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should be here tonight. So, is he? Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right. Then I'll see you there. Okay. I'll It's going to be 89, right? How are you talking on your phone without earphones? Uh-oh. I was too lazy to explain it properly, so I came up with a lie. I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! Another call came in. Boss? Renju? 89? Date, it's okay. Us. The one that makes the most sense. Bad feeling about this. So. Okay, Dante, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? If I did, I would have told you. Uh -huh. Or Iber would have. I see. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Dante. <laughs> Do you realize how screwed I am? Go find number 89. I'm on it. <laughs> if I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? I told her I was going to Marvel with Iris. <gasps> I shouldn't have told her that. And about who I was expecting to what? see there. Are you trying to get her drunk? Boss, no. She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? <sighs> well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Yes. Find those two and arrest them. Got it? All right. Project get a set drunk. Wait, what was our objective again? So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six. Two suspicious individuals approaching. Not me. Um. I'd definitely call that suspicious. Ooh. Oh. God damn. Oh, that's a sniper. What the hell is going on? Stay right there. What? Okay. Mama, you tricked me. Oh. Okay. That's a lot of people. It's time to rock. Damn. Do I get to shoot him? Do I actually? Oh my god. We can find out later. We need a way out of this. 
Yeah, bro. If I grab Iris and try to run, we'll be shot full of holes. The alleys between the buildings are blocked off. We can't go that way, which means we gotta shoot our way. We gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. Yeah, boy. I've only got a single revolver. What? Oh, we have to make a decision on what to shoot. Oh, what is happening now? <laughs> Coffin dance time. What is happening? Shoot the magazine rack over and then we'll look at porno mags. Is that what his idea is, really? Dante, I have a plan. Oh, good. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. Hopefully they work as well as in the, uh, in the gangster the building plan? in the other timeline. You see that hanger over there? Yes. Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions, just do it. Okay. Alright, oh, it was control, wasn't it? I need to press. Alright, well click. There we go. Control! Ping! Um, well. Look at that! Oh my god, they're like idiots! A gift from heaven. Oh my god! They're actually brainless. Are they stupid? Yeah. Just as I calculated. How did you calculate this? What kind of calculations did you do? Dante, focus. All right, there's still a lot more people. Now the burst shot. Shoot the porno mag vending machine. The porno mag? I said no question. Not the porno mag. No. Hurry. <laughs> Shoot the vending machine with the burst. This is ridiculous. Boom, baby. Are they really gonna? This is. Oh, Jesus. This is crazy. <laughs> Why? I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Yeah, they must be stupid. You are too. What? The final step. But you don't have to do a thing. Do I not? Um, hi. Hi, Mama. Mama, there's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. There's... Oh, this... <laughs> oh, this is meme root. Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. Now, we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high-pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. <laughs> now, let's go. Um... All right, I have questions. Boop. Go, Tiny Iver, go! <laughs> it's so cute! And strong! Please tell me Iris witnesses this. Ready? Here I go. Oh, I do need to... Eh. Boom! What happens if you fuck that up? Muscles galore, men's gymnastics routines. What the fuck? God, the... Are you serious? All according to my calculations. This is brilliant. 
This is absolutely brilliant. I, I love this shit. <laughs> Data resonance. <laughs> what? Hi. This is... My house. My place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. We should go get her. It's getting late, but Sunfish Pocket should be safe. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. If anything, she'll be in more danger with us. Iris. That is true. I need to talk to you about earlier. Have a seat wherever. Hey, Iris. About the unidentified attackers. Iris, those guys who tried to kidnap you. Do you have any idea who they were? Uh, everything's gone grey. After a long silence, Iris spoke. There's a reason I asked you to go on a date so many times. Oh. I wanted you to protect me. Aw. I wanted a bodyguard. But I thought that if I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me. No, trust me. I I would believe you. I've seen you sawn in half, stabbed in the back. Like, trust me. That's why I didn't tell you. I know that you're gonna die. <laughs> But now, oh, according I'll to conclude. my calculations. My life is being threatened by a secret society. They're called the Nizet Laws. Oh, Jesus. A group under the control of the Wajet system. Oh, God. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. What have I gotten myself into? I discovered them and what they were up to, and now... Date, please help me! They're going to kill me! Wait, wait. Slow down. I, uh, um, uh, uh, about the relation to the Wadjet system. Well, you know about the Wadjet system, right? Well, evidently. It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate Elgorg, but no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. Okay. Who oh boy. I see. It's going down this road, is it? <laughs> Make a pyramid out of Illuminati. Yes. It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. Every single line just sends me further and further into insanity. They were caught by the space dev team at Elgor. All right, let's just have a look at the last four lines. Okay, so <laughs> the Wadget system AI is from outer space, right? It was tr transmitted in binary as radio waves. It was caught by the space dev team. That is, ugh, I have no way of voicing how I feel about. <laughs> The past development. And when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Ivor is, is from true, Iver? outer space. It is patently ridiculous. All right, what is X00639? In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. It's about 150 feet long quite big for a satellite true most satellites are between five and ten feet long the international space station is roughly 330 feet long so this satellite she is describing is about half as big what is x00639 it's always in the same place and there's no doubt that it's man-made but by who and when it was launched no one knows also true the first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one could identify it precisely. Is this most people thought it was all some fictitious bullshit? US military satellite, and that was it. Or is that actually not the truth? Is this X O O six three nine shit like actually based off of anything? X zero zero six three nine is a super powered radio transmitter. Radio transmitter, but it's not complete. It's still being built. Do, is there people that actually believe this? And that's what they're trying to do. 
That's what Wajet wants them to do. About Naya. It's spelled N A I X A T L O Z. Yeah. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nyes. Nyes. They're deeply connected to the Wajet system. Their organization is everywhere international politics, business leaders, all operating in secret. Summarize for me. What the fuck is going on? So to summarize Iris' story, the Wadget System AI was built by decoding radio waves sent from outer space. Ho oh boy, and I thought Persona's plots were crazy. A secret society called Nice. Nice. Knows the secret of the Wadget System and obeys its will. The ultimate goal is to complete the radio transmitter satellite X00639. How much of this should I, like, take into account for the other timeline? Like, <laughs> How much of this is true? How much of this is canon? Is this entire side route just non-can? Uh, what does Wajet want to keep nice a secret? Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on oh, the true. screen. Oh, goody. Hi, guys. Nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something. Or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wajet made their own predictions. And they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. They can't build a satellite by themselves, right? That's why they created Nizet Laws. Nizet Laws is how you pronounce that. Uh, why do the members of Nizet Laws follow Wajet? Nyes and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. Wajet can control stock prices. Nyes benefits from that. In return, Nyes helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nyes is in militaries and corporations all over the world. <clears throat> to help build X00639. The game doesn't lie to me, oh god. Jesus Christ, why is Wajet building X00639? I managed to learn that too. They're building X00639 so they can transmit their own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. But what if the game is a warning? What if this is all true and the developer couldn't find a good way to voice it? So they're putting it through a video game medium. And this, it's like a warning. This entire side route is just like, hey, we need to be careful. The aliens and the... Nyes are coming for us. Prepare that yourself. will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're an AI, they can create copies of themselves for transmission. Doing this over and over means that Wajet will eventually spread across the universe. It isn't a side route. After oh, that? Yikes. After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. Not any less valid than the others. That's what scares me. Know. Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet is alive. It has a concentration of whack. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Okay, so summarize for me. All right, I get it. You do? Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. Eh? No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going to Nyes. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty. And all the wars happening across the planet. And human trafficking and slavery. Nyes has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. They only care about themselves. And they'll do anything to protect their own interests. Welcome to people. They'll kill if they have to. Which is why I'm being targeted. Because I found out their secret. How and when did you learn all of this? Well, I can't say yet. But it's true. Believe me. Nice is dangerous. What is going on with your mouth? Why does it look like your tongue is sticking out? You have to understand, Date. You... You saw my dead body. I did indeed. In Mizuki's you dream, think you were killed by Nyes in the parallel world. Yes, I think so. You're the only person I can trust. Oh, please don't leave me. You have to protect me. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> digitalizing. Okay. It looks so weird at that angle right now, though. Uh, I was a story as well. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't believe a word of it. But it is true that she was almost kidnapped by some mysterious group. And it's true that I saw her dead body in the cold storage warehouse. And if that happened in a parallel world... Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Don't worry, Iba. You use the one jet system too, right? Iba is an enemy. So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? <laughs> do you think I'm an agent of Nice? You could be. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story Ooh. is true or not. A sink, of course. Iris looks serious. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I guess. So this is the other Iris sink that you're on about. With Iris in the passenger seat, I headed back to Abyss. But really, I didn't want to take her there, because Boss would be waiting. The men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. That means they knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off? The only people we told were Mama and Boss. Well, who could have? Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. That's right. No. <laughs> that is true. Impossible. God damn it. <laughs> Boss. Iva, can you contact Pewter? I want to ask him something. Understood. Pewter can't be trusted either. Oh, Dante. Do you need something? Yes. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinji. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Oh, uh, yeah, about that. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? Close. The world has become a dangerous place. Uh, does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? Pewter, I need to know something. Does a sink machine exist outside of Abyss? If it does, I won't have to go to Abyss. I can just go there and sink with Iris. I thought Pewter might know, but... There's only one sink machine in the entire world, and it's with Shit. us that it is. For now, anyway. For now? The, the Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. Everything links back to six years ago. Stolen? Yes. It was being transported when it was attacked and then stolen by an armed group of men. The culprit is still on the loose. The device was never recovered. Oh. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. Uh, about Boss. Pewter, where's Boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Summarize for me. So, neither you or Boss are at Abyss right now? No. Good. I can take Iris there without a problem. Thanks, Pewter. <laughs> Smells of inside job. See you later. Sure thing. Wait, so who's gonna run the thing? So, what? Iris. Where are we going? Inside your dreams. What? I'm gonna sync with you to determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill your wish. My wish? You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that hey. all right? Yes, of course. This is the best timeline. <laughs> <coughs> Just like Peter said, Boss wasn't there. I but knew exactly how to use the device. I followed her directions at the control console and prepared the machine quickly. I think the Mizuki That's one is best. Oh, where, um... Second only to true ending. Roger that. When Mizuki is, like... <laughs> boobs ending. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. Alright. Let us begin. So, Mizuki one as in the other path from this branch, right? Where it's, she's not mute because of us. Do you mean? 
So I don't know how to access all the different endings for this game. Because it seems like there's only a few branches. Unless, obviously, the lore opens up once we catch up. Oh, goody. Of freaking course. Why the hell is it Mineforge? It is uh, difficult to move like this. Shovel Forge. Why do you look like that? Oh my god. I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. <laughs> Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never. I will never give up. You don't have to take it that far. This is adorable. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel Forge? I don't see any shovels or forges. Why is this her dreamscape? Iris said that she was focused on streaming this game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Tetris effect? Forget about the forges and listen. This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge. So she's been playing it so much that she's seeing it in her dreams. A sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on. I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You I don't no want to play. Good evening, good morning, and hello. It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You bet. I'm going to be playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in. Iris's Let's Play has begun. Okay, so I'm now streaming a game in which a streamer is playing a game in their dreams that I am hijacking. Okay. Help me, Date. You have to help me. It's nice. They're coming. Find me, Date. Let's play. Let's play. Oh, a pickaxe. Lucky. What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy oh, like the other ones. <laughs> High difficulty Somnium. I didn't think the other ones were all that easy. Are you ready? Let us begin. Alright. Get our Minecraft caps on and let's go. Please don't tell Somnium me it's going to be like ten. nine <laughs> locks. Okay. We have... Mental Lock 1. The Soul Sand. Mental Lock 2, whatever that is. Mental Lock 3 that I can't read. Mental Lock 4 is Iris herself. Okay, only 4. Okay, it's not absolutely ridiculous. Iris has been captured. Free her and support her. I love this. <laughs> Space. This doesn't look like a pickaxe, but that's what I was Show a forge. I hate this. No, I love this. <laughs> this is great. This is a pretty avant-garde pickaxe. Perhaps designed with glow sticks in mind. A silver gate. Let's dig it up. Like this. Uh huh. This is actually kind of fun. It is. Easy there. We've still got a job to do. That pickaxe was dropped by someone being attacked by Nice. Be careful, Date. Nice might be after you, too. Did you get that? I'll be the one being attacked. Either way, all we have to do is listen to Iris and do what she says. But which Iris? There appears to be two. I guess both for now. I think we'll find something if we dig there. Let's check it out. Let's check it out indeed. Iris is doing There's my job door. for me. I love it. A gate. Everything looks like a block of tofu to me. This must be where we use the pickaxe. This game All is right, ridiculous. Don't be too hasty. Wee! Gate two. Door or gate? It is closed. Dig! Okay, just like I always say, let's hit it! Go, Iba. All right, here I go. <laughs> Do it, Iba. Oh, I need to press space. Whoops. I wasn't looking. I got a rare material. Ooh, I knew today would be special. 
If we let us proceed naturally, you should end up on the meme route. Hell yeah. This is kind of fun, isn't it, Ivan? Yes, meme route, meme route. Are we meant to do this the whole time? Uh, this is tiring. The gate's open. Let's go. We're doing Roger. this. Let's proceed deeper. This is a new area. And we cannot return to the previous one. Hmm, where else can I dig? We gotta find something to dig up. Am I meant to dig everywhere? Yes. Someone who really has obscene amounts of mental locks difficulty is usually in the locks themselves. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a branching path. Ah, I see. A vending machine. That's a big stick of imitation crab. It must be a vending machine. Dig! Happy digging. Roger. Dig it up. Space! That can't sound good on the audio. I got a lot of materials that time. Good haul today. Be sure to like and subscribe and to read to it, everyone. Hey, uh, I Yes? Is this golden yokocho? Oh! Indeed. It appears to be modified, but it probably is based on golden yokocho. This is where we were attacked. Three, two, twit. <laughs> Look, Dante! What the fuck? What is that? Uh oh, an elite is coming. But it's okay. I've got the feeling we can do it! Project Bluebeam! Nice is trying to kill me! Project Bluebeam? But what are we supposed to do? Dance! Dance? No. Use the most beautiful art form humanity has ever created. The power of dance! Is this literally why you're always dancing? It you dance to avoid the Illuminati. They may have money and power, but they'll never take our beating hearts. Dance is the only way to fight the Wajet system and nice. What? Let's do it! Brain damage. What do you think, Iba? I am brain damage. Shovel Forge is not a dancing game, but that's not what I'm talking about. Nice does not exist. But I don't think Iris is trying to mislead me. I'm still gonna follow what her. What do you think does not change the facts? Now we have to decide our next move. Dance is the way. Find somewhere to craft the disco ball. Where is the crafting table? Uh, monitor F? Iris' live stream is showing on the monitor. Listen to Iris. Okay, time to create a disco ball on the crafting table. Which one? I believe she is talking about that one. So, it's not a block of congealed oil. Why would someone place blocks of hardened fat as furniture in their house? <laughs> well, it's kind of like Hansel and Gretel. They aren't real, Date. Wait, what? Oh, it's in here. Shit. I found a crafting table. Hmm. Something the matter? It seems you can create items other than disco balls. Oh, can I? But we need to make the disco ball now. That's what the viewers are expecting. Oh, okay. So this is the branch, probably. Well, I'm making a goddamn disco ball because I Understood. want to. Kapow instead of Kappa. Less of a disco ball and more of a disco square. Okay, we gotta dance for real now. Give it your best dance moves, everybody. What should I do? Dance, Dante. Fight against Nice with the power of dance. I'm a dance. You have to dance. Give me dance mini game, please. Okay, if I must. Dance mini game. Dance mini game. Pretend like you're falling. <laughs> like um, the friggin' Dota 2 dancing.
Herman and Fine. Cold frost on the pie. Fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes. You've seen in your eyes. What have I done? game I was playing earlier. <laughs> Remember when a girl got sawn in half? I, um... Alright, giant eyeball. to find words for this anymore. Oh, rare drop. Awesome. Let's see how far we can get today. Let's go everyone. Onward. Please this does nice. low key make you me want to play Minecraft. It, All right, let's go, Iba. Let's play Minecraft. That is not what we need in this situation. All right, we made it. Let's keep going. This appears to be another game. Minecraft does not have the power of dance. That is true. Dig oh. it. Can you dig it? Do it? Leave it to me. Space. Rip ears, I'm sorry. I dug it up. Got the material. Let's move on. <laughs> Patch 1.18 dance view for confirm. This is uh, a spacious area. I'll get a dance mod just for uh, continuity. Is that marble? Those flowers are winter irises. They're wilted. Wow, this place is huge! How are we gonna check everything? Maybe I can make something with the materials I have. Okay? Okay! Another crafting table. At least you don't have to do any more digging. Are watching streams really this cringy? <laughs> Why do I feel cringy watching her? I'm sorry, guys. Shrine. That's humanity's last hope against nice. Really? Save us from the oppression of technology. Return the stone monument to the pedestal at the shrine. We should have all the materials we need to craft the stone monument. Please. Meta, I am. Don't feel cringe her. Save this world. Only me. Only me? Oh. <laughs> Alright. I was on about something different and then our voice lines lined up. I'm sorry, Date. I didn't realize I was you. Date. I'm the only one who can save her. Hey, Date. What? Is following Iris's plan really the best idea? Yes. I don't know, but I feel like we're getting closer to the truth. Really? Let's go with it a little longer. I suppose we can. I will follow along for now. Alrighty. Crafting table. There's a crafting table here as well. Craft monument. We're going to quarter the time as well. Iris said that all the I don't watch should... enough streamers. But... <laughs> Yikes, yeah. I don't actually that on the floor watch that streamers table? very often. That is true. This is... The egg that came out of the vending machine earlier. An egg! We can use this! Okay, build a monument with that! Should check out the talking category more often. Oh, you mean the just chatting, which is full of build tolerance to cringe? No! <laughs> no! Understood. I don't want to do it! You could have given it a little more oomph. Specifications for 
Boom. Not found. Please take the monument to the shrine. You can make miracles, Dante. Got it. Leave I it feel like I'm Iris. being brainwashed by Iris. Are you going to continue doing whatever Iris tells you? Iba, I get where you're coming from, but... I yeah, I believe her. really have a hard time watching the just chatting people. The only one, I will say, the only one I do actually genuinely like is, uh, I think his name is Jake and Bake Streams. Because he just walk. well, I'm not sure if he still does, I haven't watched him in a while. But he used to just walk around Japan and talk, and it was so chill and cool. I exist to support you, Date. Let's bring this to the shrine. Yeah, let's go. Oh, God. Why do I feel like I've done something horribly wrong? This appears to be a pedestal. Place monument. Understood. It will be done. Hey! Wilted irises blossomed. What? There were dead flowers outside. What happened to them? Hey, they're alive again. This is... A miracle. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. The fact that you believed in me is good news. And Dante, you are my hope. I'm your hope? You might be able to use it now, Dante. Use what? There's something around the flowers. Another rare drop? I suppose... I can see why here. this might be the meme route. Right. Alright, let's leave. Oh, I can't get out. Ah! Uh... Soft ground. This floor is slightly different. Dig. All right, try digging. Understood. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, escape! Why am I spamming escape now? Um. What is this? I've never seen anything like this before. Is it on the wiki? I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. What is this? Oh, I get it. It's a love bomb. Hmm? An item of that description is not in the game. Let's fight for the future with the power of love. If you use this, you might be able to find me. Use it? How? You need to dance, Date. Of course we do. Oh, that's right. Again? Haven't I danced enough already? No, dance more. This is to save Iris. Please, just bear with it for now. All right. I'll just use this bomb somewhere over there, I suppose? Yeah, try it. Uh... Yeah, this way. Uh... Debris? We cannot move forward with the debris in the way. Oh, I get the impression Ibra is brainwashed. No, I feel like... <laughs> okay, Ibra is brainwashed by me because I have to control... Well, she has to be controlled by me. I'm just following Iris's orders, which I feel like I'm getting the wrong impression. She's like, oh, you have to save me from Nice, but maybe she's working for Nice, and this is her brainwashing me into helping her and them. Use the love bomb. My god, that takes 60 seconds. Jeez. Around here? Yeah. Dance, baby, dance! Do you want me to dance? Please. Here we go again. What the almighty fuck is happening? Alrighty! It worked! What? Oh, well, there's the nether portal. Oops. Looks like I messed that up, didn't I? Okay, well, guess I'll just die and restart. Whoa! <laughs> Dead. Um. Okay. Where is this place? Okay, let's regroup and keep going. As a video game character, experiencing death again and again is wearing me down. Iris is further away Speak to Subaru path. about that. So when will you stop believing her? Dante, can you see that shrine? Iris, I'm sorry. Did we make a mistake? No, you haven't. 
What's going on? Are we supposed to go that direction? Hey, the irises are back. Whoa! Ah, Iris? that's bright. Are you there? Ah, pixelated UFO. Oh, that's creepy. Something big is coming. Okay, this guy's gonna be the final boss for today. Oh, stop! Stay away! Iris! We have Iris to help her! Iris is in trouble. Is there any way to save her? Date, this is Somnium. It cannot affect the real world. That's not true. I saved Iris in Somnium once. If I don't save Iris here, Iris in the real world is in danger. Either way, we do not have the power to fight against the UFO. If you want to help Iris, we need to find a way. What can we do? Where do we go? I don't know. Wait, this isn't even where it branches yet. Uh, investigate the pyramid. I'm guessing we can't dig. Alright. Let's go through this gate. It's locked, but it must be the outermost gate. Let's see. Investigate. Without a pickaxe, there is Wait. no need for us to waste energy. Whoa, 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 where'd my pickaxe go? The fuck? Mirror door? A mirror door. Well, you know what they say. Dance is the way. What? The power of dance. The most beautiful thing humanity has ever created. Dance is the only way to beat Nyes in the Wadjet system. The is reason it now? why your reflection isn't shown in the mirror is because of Nyes. Yep, we're going insane. They're a threat to their existence. They're trying to erase you and... Date. Please, do it. Understood. Dance, baby! <laughs> Was that actually big brain? No, it wasn't. Was it pointless? Teacups that are flying, I'm not used to flying. Oh, you'll think that I'm hiking. This old tail of mine. Oh, uh. what is happening? What have I done? <laughs> Okay. Huh. I guess that was good. It's Thank you for finding me, Dante. Iris. Is it really you? Iris? Hey, star. All right, so this is where the branching path happens weirdly. So what happens if we chose not to make the monument? Believe me. What? 358 seconds? Whoa, whoa, whoa. do I need to get a timey before I do this? <laughs> Wait, can we just sleep? No, we can't. Monitor A. Oh, alright, let's, let's fucking do it. Let's just... Believe me! Alright, touch the core. Weirdly. Please. Please trust me. 
Oh, is it going to be believe or don't believe? On this. Iba, touch the core. Date. Why do I feel like she's misleading us? We touched the thing! Alright, that's... Believing Iris. Alright, so... Can we just go back there, the one we want to retry? Or do we have to go through everything again? To get back to that branch? Antinomic conflict. What the hell does that mean? Well, usually the A path is the best path, right? <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? Uh, I can't remember the exact stuff to get the other one. Okay. We'll have a look. The sink from earlier touched my heart in a way that always will always linger. All doubt was removed from my mind. I was determined. Iris, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Hmm? I believe you. Watch it, Nyes, X00639. Are you serious? And like I said, I'll fulfill your wish. From this moment on, you're under my protection. Then? Yeah. I'm your body. Yeah. Where am I going to get the left on the wrong? Yeah, I'll have to try and figure it out because I want to see all the different branches. Date, thank you, thank you so much. Date, are you delusional? Yes. You're going to help too, right, Iva? My mission is to support you. Good. And thank you. So strange. What is happening? Hey, it's Tuesday, and nobody's dead other than that one girl. Hey, we're back at the Kumakura office. Oh, right, the game's going to force us to. What? You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? I did. It was a business hotel. It was a two-bed room. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. We got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. Did we? No, we didn't. What? Calm down, Isn't Momo. Gang supposed to be clean? We banged. No biggie. Why are you here anyway? I told Momo about the attack by Nyes at Loz. I see. I heard about the shooting in Golden Yoko Show last night, but I never thought it'd be you. You should have seen it, man. It was crazy. Porno mags flying everywhere. Lingerie on the floor. Bro, should have been there. Uh, where are your lackeys? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. That's fair enough. Can we look? Can we call a crest? There's an ASAP figure hidden in the safe behind it. Oh, we can't get in there. How about Renju? Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. Oh? What is it? I'll tell you, but. Uh, Date, come over here. Oh no. Again with this? No. With his arm over my shoulder, Momo led me to the corner of the room. What is it, bro? I'll tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake your hand again? No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see. Oh. Bruh. Whoa. I'm sorry? I, I, I wanna see Tessa's panties. Your teeth look weird from this angle. I really, really, really want to see. Okay. You gotta let me get a peek. That's not up to my jurisdiction. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. This guy's an even bigger pervert than I am. Momo and I went back to where we were. So. Iris, could you do me a favor? This guy wants to see your panties. 
Did I get punched by her? She hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. I know Momo would never say that. Right, Momo? Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Thanks, bro. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. Oh, boy. I just took Mama's hand and shook it. Date, this, this is the happiest day of my life. I thought that was yesterday. Today is the new best day. Oh, okay. About Renju. you. Anyway, what's this guy you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park. Someone Ooh. saw Renju. Friday night. That's when Shoko was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him, but it does prove he was there. Moving the body. The really? The police have already thoroughly searched it, and we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? About nice the others. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes! Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> I've always known deep down there must be some kind of secret organization yeah the illuminati oh, and scientology know. and all that so about nice at last anyway I, I got some info about the shootout those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of they're not mafia or yakuza or anything they must have been hired guns uh, by Niza M M Mattis. It's Niza at Laws. Niza at Laws, got it. I'll never forget again, just like that investigator's name. Uh, Kaguya? Was his, was his name? About Renju. Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... Wait, what? What? Maybe Mr. Okura was a part of Nice. What? He was looking for Iris. Oh dear. And then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. I had a shit ton of occult stuff in my room, didn't I, in the initial tutorial? Was that just a coincidence? And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with Nice. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. Uh, about Renju. Maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help Number 89 escape. And Number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. It killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. <laughs> I hope this isn't the truth behind the game. It's all about a secret organization that people found out about. It all comes back to Nyes. Once we solve the mystery of Nyes at last, everything else will fall into place, or so I thought. You want to know more about Nyes? Why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? No. I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff oh, fascinating. Oh, shit. Good point. You might have more information for us. Uh... Iris, do you want to call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worried. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. All right. How's school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you, dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's true. All right, I guess we won't press that any further. Come on, summarize for me. There are three places we can go. First, Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renji being seen there Friday. 
which is probably the figure we saw in the other timeline. Second, that's a sheet of diner. I want to ask Goto more about nice. Third, the Sejima estate, which we were told to never go back to. Sejima was probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world, in which case he might be a part of Nice. I need to confront him. Summarize for me Let's again. Oh, yeah. You're taking Tessa with you? Yeah. Be safer here. No, she won't. You can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris' garter belt. What? Or what? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. Close enough, uh, right? Slip, no doubt. <laughs> well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Mama opened his desk and took out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Mama, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know, but in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Iris took the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. It'll be fine, relax. I can jump timelines, remember? She'll be fine, so long as I don't go back to the original timeline where she's been sawed in half. She'll be fine. Also, why the polar bear outfit? <laughs> that still hasn't been cleared up. Oh shit, the whole gang's here. Oto and Mizuki are, were both in the diner. Nice at laws. I see. It's not impossible. Oto spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. Alrighty. Mizuki, what are you doing here? Why are you here? Well, Ota... Um... Huh? Ota Date, what? Can I... Oh no. Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. I quietly stood up and followed. What? Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Okay, true. Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. Oh. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but... Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? Okay. I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. I know. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. This timeline really hasn't let me hang out with her much, though. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. I know, but if I spend more time with her, Iris dies. We've seen it already. All right, well, do you know where your father is? If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Probably. Is he the culprit? We don't know. Did he really kill mom? Uncertain. Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. And he called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious, but... But I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. I know you did, sweetie. About Iris, who's sitting right here. Who is Iris to me? A friend, a big sister, and I kind of envy her. No, stop it! It's true, though. Oh, that's so cute. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> You're adorable. It's Mizuki. Okay, great. She went immediately back to pouting. Uh, are you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. Don't do you now. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. 
Okay, about Ota. Ota's like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. Even though he looks like 13. He's, He's apparently really 24. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. Yeah! Okay, how much you like me? About Mizuki. Mizuki is like a cute little sister. And, she is. And my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. Oh. Yay, I beat Ota, although that wasn't voiced Aww. for some reason. How many universes am I worth? She's trembling. I'm really worried. Is her hair not as pink as it was before? Or is it just the lighting? Okay, I'm going to talk to Ota now. Where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. Stabbing someone? About Iris. Tessa is... My hopes and dreams, my peace and my life. Is that just a shadow? What is going on there? My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. You can see that, right? That weird streak down her eye. She's like the laws of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. An angel, and it's gone. a lover. A cute mascot to put on a body pillow. A guru, a wife, a soulmate. Life itself. She's the object of my total uh, devotion and worship. Kinda weird. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told she you before, seems to have. I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Not as a bodyguard, Thanks, though. Ota. That's my job. That makes me happy. Why do we keep fighting to black? What the hell is this? All right, Ota. About noise at loss. I've heard of them. Nizetlos, or Nize, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. Oh! While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals... No, don't say politicians. Tycoons. It's so involved in they've this. They've only been active for a few decades, but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Okay. About those it was. Again. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? I've heard of the Rockefeller group. No, wait. Rockefeller Street? That's but the song, nice. right? There's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wajin system or its connections to Nice. Iris found out just why they're after her. Her pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Which I do. For some reason. Oh, everyone's got something else to say. Oh, it's just to summarize. All right, summarize for me, baby. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. By me tasing too. me in the neck. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Aww. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. How deep does this go? We've been going for a while on this route. Uh, Sage my residence. It's Tuesday. I think we've lived longer than in the other timelines, right? There's no one in the garden. Oh, oops. So must be inside. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. Oh. You should look around. Oh. Stone. A garden stone. Where's the life signal coming from? Oh, shit. Zoom. What? That's so. Next to him is Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with so? Date? What's wrong? Can you not see this? 
Do you not have Zoom? Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said them. you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? She's standing right over there! It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panic looks on the fa panic looks on their faces. We told you you can't come in here. You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. I'm above the law. Get lost. No use pushing it. If they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Nice is a huge organization. There are people everywhere. I can't risk being caught. Then I won't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Let's go to Bloom Park. Ah. Uh. So many questions. No answers. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. And what did we learn? Nothing, I guess. There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought it over a thousand times, my head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Want to race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Did we? You want to challenge me? Well. Sure. Oh shit, we did. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round. Right. Is she like inhumanly Line fast? Up next to me. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, A go. set. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race of Sally, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Just imagine it. Oh no, here we go. Cool, that was pointless. See? Told you, Iris is the messenger of the gods. Uh-huh. Your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. Which is really interesting. Three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of I have watch it. and that one is the moon. I'm interested in mythology as well. Teach me more. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus' left eye is the eye of watch it. Does that have any relation to the watch it system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Ah. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. Number 89. I used to call him uncle. Wait. Oh, yeah. Didn't he come up with a set, too? I don't think uncle's 89, is he? Why would you call him uncle? If he was a father figure and knew that he was in love with her mom, why would she call him uncle? Interesting. Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. Is it? Uh, uh, about Aset. Horus's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Iset or Aset. Oh. Hmm. How do I explain this? About Aset. Horus's father's name is Osiris. And his mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Okay. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Kind of brutal. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. 
If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. But if he's in pieces... With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. <laughs> but anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Very interesting. More about Aset, please. I think I get the picture, but what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. This rabbit hole goes deep. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. How did you get so fast? I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But hmm? about three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Huh. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. Because dancing is a danger to noise. <laughs> but during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me. Like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Oh my dance. god, Jesus. That's All I brutal. have is dancing. Just dancing. About the Eye of Wadja... Let me click the option. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. He's a buff dude from League of Legends. That's his uncle. I remember that. I told you earlier. Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right. I see. Not only was he killed, he was shredded to pieces. So obviously Horus was pissed. Shredded to pieces, much like So was, in the other timeline. Drat. I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. Why the ears? On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war. And so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? Rock, paper, they would disguise themselves as hippos, <laughs> ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. What? That's what they decided. How oddly specific. Yeah. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. About the Eye of Wadjet. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? Wee Wee. I believe she is referring to a male... Oh. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It's said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time. Fuff! My monkey bro! Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thought. Okay, here it goes. I like how most of my mythology knowledge power. comes from Persona. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. So about the eye of watch it. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the eye of Providence. Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. Very interesting. Okay, so summarize for me. Where did we go with this? In the end, we didn't find any new information on Renju. But it, I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Alright. 
to the map to marble another attempt at going to marble without dying this time or without attempted murder at least Ugh. all right where is it actually gonna where are we going okay. next marble golden yoga show wasn't that where we were attacked by nice all right bear with a sec i have to go pee i'll return very shortly Enjoy chair stream for approximately a minute or two. I return. I didn't miss anything, did I? Oh shit. Wait, is this not changing back? What the hell? The advanced scene switcher. Okay, so it should be. Alright, cool. Ah, right! <laughs> It'll be fine. God damn ball is windowed. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Can we interact with anybody? No, okay. Just a straight drive. I really want to see the timeline now. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. Ah. Uh. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. Uh-huh. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. <laughs> You're not gonna. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. I told Mama about last night and about the noise at Lost too. Oh. Introduce Iris. Oh yeah, I guess you've Sorry never met her. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset. You bet. Oh, sorry. Have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. I know, right? Are you a virgin? You are, right? Oh, yeah. It's on her face again. Can you see that? There's like a streak down her face there. I'm not just seeing shit, am I? What a coincidence. Me too. Oh, you don't say. I was sitting to my side. Why does it look like she's got like a tear streak down her eye? Uh, about noise at lots. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. But you're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Uh, about the armed men. 
I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. They have all the money in the world. Alright. Can I talk to you about anything? Want a drink? No, I'm okay. Uh, what should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. It is not well known, but dried bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. Wait, what? <laughs> what do you think of Mama? She's a delight. No, aren't you nice? She really is, isn't she? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Holy crap! Date, I need a body so I can work here immediately. <laughs> we won't get hired like that. <gasps> All right, summarize for me. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming and that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Wait, same guy who gave Ren his watch? You said that watch was from his new lover. Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. Futa. <gasps> Futa. As in... The Japanese category of girls with penises. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I was on a completely different wavelength. That's his name? That's Pewter. The fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um... I guess we're going to Abyss Headquarters. So now it's a toss-up of Boss and Pewter. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. Is he in the machine? Ah, oh, I can't check out the machine. No. Ah. Uh, locker? X ray? <laughs> oh. There's that bastard. Creepy. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? What? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. So is this all just a coincidence? Like, we're on a trail for noise, and it's just going to result in the actual explanation of the crimes. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Yeah, that's what I said. About Renju's watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. 
There was no need to ask anything else. What did Pewter help Renju? His last sentence was all I needed to hear. Well, uh, about 89 to escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Holy Someone shit! Someone I love. So I wasn't wrong. Wow. Interesting. Huh. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. Uh, about Aeson's escape. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier, though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Why was Boss not present at 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Huh. Why did Renju escape with 89? I don't know. Huh. So now I don't know whether... Boss... Maybe Boss isn't suspicious. It's true. Please. Believe me, Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Where's Renju? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iba. Yeah. I was thinking about that. And? You don't get it? Date, his hands! Iba, no! Shit! <laughs> oh. So I can't even trust my own eyeball anymore. Damn it, Pewter! Date, calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. If you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? Where oh, is she? Hell. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? <gasps> MoMA! I tried. It's been turned off. Then... MoMA! You saved the day! It's just an extra precaution. Oh my god, I Put love you, MoMA. they won't find it. Iba, call MoMA now. <gasps> Holy Bye. shit, I love this so much. <laughs> this story arc is great. I explained the situation as fast as I could. Track the GPS! I'm sorry, somebody electrocuted me through my eyeball. I know, I know. Yell at me later. Right now I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it. After a short pause, Mummy yelled out. That's where the cold storage warehouse is. No! That's where I saw Iris' dead body. No! Thanks, Mama. Are you listening, Apple? I've got it, thanks. I'm on my way there, too. Shit, yeah! 
We got the help of the Kubakuras now. Oh hell yeah. This is crazy, I love it. Big black van. Never a good sign. What the hell? Alrighty, how the hell are we gonna do this? Oh! Shit, I actually need to examine. Alrighty. What have we got? We've got something. Something. The guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Armed men. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. All right. There are a ton of enemies on Hyla or on the storage. All right. So we exit that. What about the crane? Can we not investigate that? Something again. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Alright, barricade. Portable barricades in two spots around the warehouse. Alright, nothing there. Barricade. Air shroud and done. It's now some perfect time to use obvious functions. Okay. So Anything else? What else can we examine? I'm kind of at a loss here on what else I should examine. I've done everything. Oh, there's something. Zoom x-ray. Is she okay? Unknown, but at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. That is good. All right, let's do this. Hold on, are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles and they're everywhere. Shit. You could tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? <laughs> yes, I was. I nodded and told him about the rest. That Iris was in the van at the end of the harbor, and that there are two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Lovingly. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Okay, hit me. What did you want to ask? Number one. The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Momo about Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body in a Are we really running with the parallel house. world shit? I've got a bad feeling about this. All right, what did you want to ask number two? So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the road. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is for, must be planning on taking her inside. Why though? Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. What did you want to ask number three? Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah, that's what I just said. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. All right, that makes things a bit difficult. I relayed that information to Moma. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. Moma has a hunting rifle. Moma, that's not a toy, is it? 
No fucking way. This is the real deal, baby. And do you have a permit for that? I am a cop, you know. Oh, come on. Don't throw the book at me now, Dante. Why the fuck want to confiscate it? My best hunting rifle. Damn it, I can't confiscate it. Confiscate. That appears to be a military confiscate. all-terrain vehicle. Moma, that, that's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. That's perfect. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense, in a way. ATV! An armored ATV. It's completely bulletproof. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Summarize for me. So, what's the plan? Uh, well... While I was coming up with a plan, a car emerged from the darkness. Sup, bitch. <laughs> Moma looks so happy. Oh, shit, what? Hi? Suki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? I sent an aisle message to both of them. Oh. Why? Because they wanted to Dr. protect. If something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? <laughs> we want to protect Tessa. We all do. <laughs> We're all Tessa fans. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. This is the simp route. Promise me. The simps come together to save Iris. Promise. Promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Thank you, Arthur. Do you Arba. know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. She is very smart. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. I like... Okay, Arthur, you redeemed some points. I That's like your true, plan. Even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Don't call me a kid. Who's the old man? Ah, oh, do we really need to see? <laughs> really to uh, explain this all, huh? I silenced from my head. I made the introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his light novel published? Yeah, that's basically what it. Where are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Shut up! I'm not short. The earth is just <laughs> What a brilliant excuse, I love that. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too! No way! This isn't even my final form. What the fuck? All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Go on then. Liar. This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. Aset. Fears. Upset. Regret. Aset. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. Aset. Yes, yeah! yes, yes. This is our, our war cry, huh? Aset, you bet. Is that what All we right. scream into battle? Let's work together and get our Tessa back. Yeah. yeah! This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. What is this triumphant music? Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. The power of friendship wins the day. Yeah! It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Good, it's working. Alright, what's the plan? I explained the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry, they can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Your powers? Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it. She's something else. She was benching a shit ton earlier. I'll take her down without a fight. You sure about this? <laughs> I want to see this. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, Mizuki, what are you capable of? This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. 
We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three. One, two, three, go! go! I was so ready for Ace at you bet, but sure. This is ridiculous. How have they not noticed this? Hey, look! Is that a tank? That's not All a right. tank, Let's you dumbass! Do it's an ATV! This isn't going well. Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. Barrels! Am I gonna need to hold control again? Yes, Iber, predict it for me! Kinda of surprised Pewter didn't just disable Iber. I would not get very far without her. Date, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Do I? Don't act innocent. <laughs> Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. Oh my god. On you know? your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. Why am I freaking out? In any case, throw it at the drum. No. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Eros. Hmm? <sighs> Iris. <laughs> Good. Hurry, Good. They're closing in. Oh, oh wait. Can't, can't we? <laughs> Photocopy it first. The pain in his face. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh shit! Tabbing that. The fuck? <laughs> I was not ready for that. I just knocked over my bottle. What? I need to move my bottle out of the way if you're gonna give me random ass controls like that. What the fuck? My bottle was way in the way. <laughs> All right, let's move that shit over there. Jesus Christ. Dante. 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 Okay, that was worth it just for the Solid Snake reference. Not gonna lie. Alright. Now I know it's tab and left arrow for some reason. <laughs> My reaction time is 0.69. What? Could it be? The legendary? Oh, this is amazing. No one back home will believe me. Yeah, huh? Wow. This was easier than I thought it would be. Am I shooting yet? Not now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> Now's no time for crying. The drum contains flammable liquids. Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Shoot it. Close in and control. <laughs> there was a weird on delay on that. On it. Wow, our aim sucks, and so does theirs. There's still more of them. Man, no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. 
Is she gonna go Super Saiyan? Aiba, any ideas? Hmm. Let me see. How are we gonna do this? Wait, what am I throwing this time? Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? I told you, don't act innocent! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Date! I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence! Enough with your pathetic excuses! I love this man so much. Just aim under the container. No! Damn it, Date! I was gonna give this to Reika as a gift. Someone else's underwear? Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. That is not true. Date, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! I'm really having to debate in my head Iris versus Reika right now, huh? Date! All right. Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? All right. What random control scheme is it gonna be this time? Tab and right. <gasps> Goodbye. You can throw that pretty far. What the hell? Considering it's not very aerodynamic. This must be a gift from heaven! Oh God, not so again! Wet. As wet as it gets! So dirty! Shameless! Absolutely shameless! This game is all kinds of ridiculous. Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. I see it. I can shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Take the shot! Let's go. Oh, that's so cool! That animation was so badass. Alrighty. Boom! Oh shit, move! Into the ocean with you! Let's go. Roger. Another barrier, oh no. What are we to do? Are we gonna release Mizuki? Please, I wanna see. The last one. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Find them. My turn. Mizuki? Wait! Mizuki! Mizuki and her iron pipe? Oh, that idiot! What? Wait, what am I to do? Oh my god! Date, Mizuki can't do this alone! Holy shit! Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up! Oh, holy shit! This kid is insane! What the- What is this store tro Stormtrooper ass aim they have? That guy was just standing behind me! Yeah. This is so ridiculous. Seriously? Is is the ending of this gonna be like, oh, this all happened while you're passed out at marble or some shit? Because this has to be a dream state, right? This can't be real. Although I do love Mizuki beating the crap out of everybody. 
Mizuki! <laughs> Wait, am I gonna have to press something? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened there? Oh, okay, he shot him. What? Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> my goddess, your chariot has arrived. Oh my god, we turned into a simp. Dante! Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Ota. Bit close. Ota, mission complete. Right, got Are we going to drive off into the sunset? Or I guess the sunrise in this case. <laughs> Pewter? This doesn't feel like the same game anymore. After that, we split up and booked it. Momo got behind the wheel of his vehicle, Ota took the van and I got into my own car. Mizuki went with Ota and Iris came with me. We drove off fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. <sighs> and then I woke up, probably. Date, Mama and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. I breathed a long sigh of relief. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm a lot better, actually. Um, sorry, by the way, for everything. Don't worry about it. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over to Kume Shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway, there's nothing else to say, but... Can't Pewter make my eyeball remotely explode? No. Jesus Christ. You know when you say something and it suddenly sparks a memory? I realise. Pewter's gonna try and set Iber to self-destruct. But if I don't lie in the next couple minutes, she won't execute it. Because of what we talked about right at the beginning of this arc. Oh my! About the winter iris. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that iris likes. Did Pewter say anything? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Oh god, they are a universal group. Listen to her story. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Oh god, we're coming back to this, are we? about the shrine? Yeah. I told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Because I experienced that in Iris' Sonia. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. Oh, so since then, my mind's been fucked. Whoa! About Uncle. I used to love Uncle. Not like, romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? For oh, okay, it is the same guy. Just seems weird that you'd call him Uncle when he's dating your mom. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Why do I have a memory of that? Like what? Um, like bratty cakes. Am I your uncle? Hmm? 
It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me and Why do I have these memories? As you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! My mind is getting blown. What was Uncle's real name? I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco? Shit. <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Uh huh. We already knew that Before part. He met me. He committed some terrible crime. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number eighty-nine were dating. What? Yep. Now you have to take the penalty. Why do I get the feeling I'm him <laughs> in some weird art? Okay, wait, why do I have his memories? It's so strange. And number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? Uh, listen to her story. I didn't keep my promise. Oh? Promise? Did you forget? I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. Oh, right. And we went on a date, so... Guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Renji Okiura. Huh. What? Okay. He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So, in the other timeline, is that how you ended up at... Whatever the fucking seafood pocket or whatever it's called. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. What happens to Renju? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Why didn't you tell me this? Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. But he's highly suspicious. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at two in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but you never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers or something that he found. Yeah. It was like a prank he was filming for the internet. or games. Not likely. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... What did you do after you ran away? Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. And then, at night, around 7, I think... I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Where did he take you exactly? Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. The chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. What? 
Okay, let's go to the abandoned factory then. I have a lot of questions. Are we gonna find a dead body? Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. Is Renju going to be dead? Are we going to finally catch up? Because he's supposed to be dead, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Huh. Wow. This is... Wait, wasn't this in her other Somnium? The one that wasn't Minecraft, it was like this kind of abandoned -y building type thing, right? But with the TVs of the original a crimes. Machine, though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Peter was talking about? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. But what is it doing here? Oh, hey, Iris, are you okay? That's not good. Iris, stay with me. Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. What? Why? Unknown, but I believe the issue is with her brain. What? Brain. Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues, let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. I estimate that Iris's brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. Oh my god, are we gonna have to put her in the machine? How do you know that? I have scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. Why? What happened to her brain? Sink. What? I'll use the sink machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. And in his Somnium, I saved Iris. No. So I saved Iris in the real world, too. No, don't give me this crap. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. So using this sink machine, they're trying to kill her. If I do the same thing again... You think you can save her? Yes. Ivan, please, help me. Is that an order? Yes. Then I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. All right. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get moving. What is happening? I don't want to stop playing, but I feel like this is a very good point to stop. This device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. Okay. This is crazy. All right, let's go. Let's go to the menu and save. Oh my god, this game is getting crazier and crazier, and I love it. Oh shit, flowchart. Let's see. Okay. So that's where that leads. So we've got another path that way. Where we don't believe her. And then we still have the entire other storyline. Or timeline, even. I shouldn't say storyline, because they're all connected, basically. Okay. Let's see what else we found in the appendix. I was electric shock. I can release an electric charge directly into Dutta's brain. Uh, Isis and Iris. Scander. SS rare. Super super rare. Special super rare or Saitama super rare? Wow, nice reference. Yeah, I don't think any of this is important. Show no mercy. Part of Oda's inspirational sp speech. <laughs> totally came up on his own. Okay. Yeah, I think 
once again will save and let that be a cliffhanger right before a Somnium. Alrighty. Let's just get rid of all of these. All right. <laughs> In space advocacy group. Shoot! I do still want to go back and see what happens if we do pick the right rock, paper, scissors option. That'll be something else to try. But yeah, for now, we're done. And uh, we'll return tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I don't know how much longer we've got of this game, but it certainly feels like I've still got shit tons. <laughs> so, yeah. Leave it at that and uh, return tomorrow. I... There's so much going on and I have no idea what to make of it. All I do is love it. <laughs> it's a goodbye pyramid. Thank you, as always, for coming to the streams. And, uh, yeah. See you tomorrow for more absolute batshit craziness. <laughs> I can't wait. Goodbye.